take one moment to get our music. Bop. Um, we are just going to uh, play the actual game's music once we get into it because today we're playing Dial Town. Um, I'm very excited. So, it's not something that I'm super well known for here, but I'm very passionate about like object head type characters. I think they're really, really cool. Uh, I mean, if you look at my starting suit screen, the plushie under, uh, under my arm is represents my spouse who has a lamp for a face uh, as their character so like i like object heads they're cool <laughs> so like um i'm just very very excited uh to get to this and i'm gonna try to go for characters i know there's like five dateables and I'm gonna be trying to go for ones that I haven't already seen their playthrough, so I'm not gonna try to uh, go for Oliver right away. Uh, and I don't know, but I kinda wanna be a typewriter. We'll see if there's like any ramification to being a typewriter, uh, just cause I think it's neat. <laughs> but I'm just excited. Uh, hold on. I'll do this. Okay, there we go. I, I couldn't see my, uh, my, not that I have it on this screen, but I couldn't see my, um, uh, my talk sprite, uh, which I'm using my one that I made for Deltarune and Undertale, mostly because, um, uh, I kind of consider it my indie game, um, thing, question mark, I don't know. But, it is what it is. Uh, I'm excited, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But yes, I'm, I'm very, very excited to get into this game. Mostly just because, like, object heads are cool. And it's weird, that's the other reason I'm excited about it, is I, I really like weird games. I did have to do a little finagling with my uh, setup because it's a square game, so I didn't want it to be, like, all weird and stretched out. But alas, it is what it is. Alright. So here in a second, we're gonna turn off our music. Alrighty. Let us see. I really do need to update my starting soon screen, though. Alright. Let's turn that off. Get us switched over. Let's turn up our music. No, no. And then... Hold on. What? Maybe now by one? I don't know. That seems reasonable. Alright. Okay, let's see. New game. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Arrow keys and was the move cursor. Enter left mouse space. Select. Escape and right mouse is back. F4 full screen. Shift bring up conversation log. Okay. I'm gonna forget these immediately. Puppy! Hello! Welcome to Dial Town, oh dating sim. You must now answer this house. Questions three! Alright, let's see. <laughs> uh, wait, am I me right now or me right now? Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? You look like a fucking hound! That's as hurtful as it is accurate, you know? I didn't want to be mean to the puppy! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, now, if you just shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Sure. Hmm. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? No, not, not, not that. 
Uh, L, zero. Eight. A, Ed. Eh, let's just go with Logan. Especially because the zero doesn't look damn right. Really? That's your name? Dog, now I don't regret being mean to you. You look like a polar bear reject. Oh, hun, I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm just how God made me, dog. I am God. Gotcha, babe. Anywho, second question. Alright. Why does it spell out Nectar Dog Man? Uh, let's see. This only affects compatibility with dateable characters. I just want to be a typewriter. Can you ma- That's probably the exact sound I would make. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be a typewriter. <laughs> nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write. I adore this game. I, I, I desperately want to talk to the dev of this game because I adore them so much right now. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of tannic water. Sounds kinky to me, Frank. Amazing. I've never wondered if it was possible to play her before. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I kind of want to, I need to move my, um, my socials, I think. Hold on. Uh, give me one second. No, 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 no. My, so my socials is what I want to move. Can I maybe make it smaller? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm stupid. It's locked. Hang on, chat. Let's... Let's make these smaller and put them up here, me thinks. For right now. Does that look alright? Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, I'm gonna leave my, uh... My dude here, because... Reasons, I don't know. Alright. Now, final question. <laughs> Let's see. I like that I can... Wait. I can actually use my, like... Actual, because fun fact, I use they, them generally, but I technically have a set of neo pronouns I like, which is E, M, heirs. Uh, but, like, I just use it for personal stuff. Like, I don't expect people to call me it. I, I, I'm actually really... Enter a pronoun to use in place of he, she, they, please. Right, in place of him, her, them. All right. Wait, I'm, I'm getting lost. I, I, I'm confused. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 hang on, 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 hang on. I, I, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got, I got really confused really fast. This is what I get for trying to use Neo pronouns. Hold on. Uh, I need to go into the menu. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna back out of here and then I want to get into the home menu as quick as possible. Because I've made mistakes. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I please escape? Alright. Hold on, let's, uh, to title, thank you. We're gonna restart this game. Because, uh, we have made grave errors. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, sure. Name. Logan. We're just going to use they, them. Because, like, yeah. 
Oh, this changes every time. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, I skipped over. Damn it. Um. Well, let's leave our tent. It's fine. Where would I like to go? Uh. How about to the park? I haven't even gotten to know our narrator yet. Uh. Let us lie down on the grass. Uh, I think this is me. It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut! I have friends. Shut up. Ah, uh, isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yeah. It's good to get away from the big city. The what? The one you're, like, only two yards away from. Okay, but I've actually had this happen where I'm like, ah, I'm so out in the wilderness, and then I hear, like, a car run by. <laughs> yeah, the peacefulness really helps unclench the old sphincter. All right. Let's not shit in the park. Can we maybe not do that? Sure. Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually, the grass here is laden with blades, syringes, and other odd vegetables. Oh, so it's Amsterdam. Uh... Well, it's a good thing that... Hi. Ow. That's not good. What the fuck? Uh, what do I do? What the fuck? Ah, fuck my arm shit, no! Ouch. Yeah, I think I see a scratch or two. This is why I hate nature and shit! Well, actually, syringes are completely man-made and used, so like... Silence, narrator! Yeah, you might actually want to find a band-aid or ten of, for a few of those little scrapes, if you can. Then again, you're penniless and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but huge syringes grow in fields! <laughs> How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded cry- I, I don't think I'm a crybaby. Come on, back to the park we go then. Alright, can I at least get those out? Uh, let's leave the area. Where would you like to go? Um, uh, to the nearby playground. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. That looks like Dora the Explorer. Uh, let us measure the ground. Exactly 25.5 feet away. Perfect. Perfect for what? You know, now might actually be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this playground in the first place. Shut! I refuse to learn any lessons! right yo. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and summon a child. Childer! Er, yeah, childer, childer. Come gather around, childer. I don't know why I'm putting out a voice. Hello. Wait, aren't you the one that yells? Hey, Bozo. Can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm four foot seven. Smell, you're short. Smell like grass, despite me never touching it due to having a glass, or grass app on my phone. And I take the crystal meth licorice flavored. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. There are flavors? <laughs> Why would I remember? I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. By my tail, I didn't even grow yet. Still waiting on that bad boy to regrow, but once it does, I have a tail. Okay, scary green person. Say, aren't you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this here playground? Joke's on you, you vertically stunted shitlord. I measured the ground before summoning you. I'm just within a responsibly marginal, but still legal, distance. Ha! Huh. You're less than 25 feet away from me right now, though. Nuh-uh! Is it from kids or from the, the thing? We learned about two-digit numbers at school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit don't work on me this time, bozo. Well, double jokes on you, you little scro- 
law says that I can't get within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little scrotes contained with its with it within its confines. I can speak, I swear to the gods. Not getting stage right insulting a child. Technically, you approach me. I summoned him, so whatever. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Accurate. Okay, see you later then, but no, please, I need the intel. If this is the question about the bugs and the bees, then I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry with me when I asked him about it for you. That's a little disturbing. Doids out. Shit gets nasty when birds fuck. No, it's not that question this time. Then, what is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, bu -bu Oof, sorry. Uh, uh... I'm a little disturbed to ask for him to pay me into the fun fair. I feel like that's, like... Borderline illegal. Um... Can I save real fast? Alright. I, I feel a little better. Uh... Let's see. Sure. Can you pay me into the fun fair? Are you seriously begging for the children now? Have you sunk that low? Look, I, I tried to find change in the park and all I found were syringes! Alright. Uh, okay. I was always capable of such things. There is no lower that I can sink to now. Sure. Sure, I guess, but like... I'm a literal child! You think that I have money? I don't know, maybe I'll rattle you around. Don't play dumb with me, Billy, you juvenile shit stain! I know your dad gives you pocket money for you doing your weekly chores. If it's anything like my mom, she just gave me like a, a quarter per t task, and yes, I know that that was jack shit, but like... <laughs> hey, I'm instead of a saved enough. Cough up. The money are your kneecaps. I bite! By the way, his, uh, hoodie looks super, like, comfortable. Okay, forget the threatening part. I bit off more than I could chew, but up, Tish. Come on, man! I'm desperate! I need some... Mm, I need some more damn from my eggs. <laughs> okay, I'll stop you right there. Thank you, Billy. I have $2.07 to my name. Which, that'd only afford me one ticket. Uh... No, see, there's a two-for-one Valentine's offer on. Yeah, for couples, bozo. I... I want to shrivel up and die. Stop thinking like a cryptid and stop thinking like a civilized person that could be imprisoned in a grown-up jail. But I am a cryptid in my heart. Oh, right. Shit. Keep thinking, bozo. Sorry, pal. But you gotta make it on your own. I understand. Thank you, Billy. Bitch. Alright. Let's see. What are the cool new words? Oh, man. Cool is the new drool. What you need are some quality snow, Billy. Pass, pass, pass. Coward! Uh, what do kids eat? Are you trying to lure more kids away to clean your tent again? No. You are, aren't you? Yes. Now answer the question, you pre- Why, I, I'm falling into the accent. Now answer the question, you prepubescent shit stain. Well, personally, I consume an exclusive diet of glitter, modeling clay, chocolate milk, and chicken nuggets like most kids my age. That's what I eat. Uh, you want to write this down? I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? No, because I'm illiterate. Sure! Home dog, Slice Man. I'm calling people Slice Man from now on. Uh... So, what else do you want, bozo? Nah, I'm chill. Okay. 
Nah, fuck it, I'm done. You're dismissed, child. I do have a name, you know. Yeah, and I don't care to learn it. Be gone, stunted one. Alright. I Later, bozo. Thanks, Billy. Uh, what does our menu do? Uh, okay. <laughs> We're not gonna read that quote right now. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and leave the playground. Where would you like to go? I've already gone to the park. Let's go to Uptown Dial Town. We must find a date, chat. Nothing to see ya. Uh, let's see. Shall we summon a local hobo? Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee. Doggy! Yo. Uh, hey, nice to meet ya, friendo. Name's Al. You need something? Uh... Are you indeed a hobo? Well, uh, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. Why am I making them all Bostonian? Yeah, thing is, I'm kinda like God. Oh, yeah, thing is, I'm kinda like God and stuff, so we gotta give him the dog's accent. I created everything around, you know, and farted out the cosmos and stars and shit. This theme is so good. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. Alright. You mean, like, building society and shit? We do live in a society. Nah, not quite. You never, you ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bid the box only to find a new species have evolved from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? Can we kick God? The wor This world is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing on an infinite possibility in disgust in awe. And awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Can I, can I woo God? Can God be one of the dateables? I, I, I know all the dateables, but I still want to meet them. Uh, let's see. Uh, pa 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 Can you pay me into the fun fair, God? God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Less than I paid for for this game. Do I look like I have two dollars right now? I mean... You have a belt. Alright. Aren't you God? Don't you control some reality? Oh, I've angered the God. Control reality? Ha! <laughs> Look at the shit show happening on this bastard of an orb we call Earth right now. Yeah. Uh, Do you honestly think I have a clue what's going on? You wanna fix shit? You be God for a day. Alright. What's your favorite hobby? You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I've eaten rocks. I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock until you've tried it. Uh, I partially the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? I just have pika, leave me alone. Oh no. At least forge your normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. He's, he's coming at me. Like broken glass and shiny rocks? See? There we go. Thank you, God. Uh, are you drunk right now? Uh, is it 11 a.m. yet? Uh, where I am, no, dear heart. It is not. I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. That I'm indeed moments away from a severe liver failure. All right. If you're God, what's the meaning of life then? What's the meaning of life? You want me to come up with a reason for all of this existing? Oh my God, it's like whenever people ask me why I make certain characters, I'm like, they just look neat. Don't you remember why, why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. 
I probably ain't trash knowing me. So, like, can you come up with the meaning of life, like, right now? Nah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? It'd probably be a million times more, co more coherent than what I could think of. Uh... Life is merely a game, dear hobo. If this was all just a game, then let me say it's a pretty fucking shoddy excuse for a game. No, it's a fucking delightful game. I'm already having the most fun I've had in a while. Don't quote me on that. Alright. Aren't you afraid you'll be arrested for standing on the road? We're standing in the road. What is a traffic cop to a god? And what's a god to a non-believer? Honestly? No judgment here, pal. I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. No, you're beautiful! Hold, hold God's face. No, God, you're wonderful. I love you. This God. I don't actually believe in God, but... Uh, we are not going to punch God. Actually, we're going to punch God. Hang on. <laughs> uh, let, let, let's, let's save. Uh, let's see. Get out of this. Alright. And we'll reload if, you know, this potentially destroys us. <laughs> you fool. Hi, God. I'm a God! How can you kill a God with a grand and intoxicating innocence? How could you be so naive? I... Okay. I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> you win this round, green one. Bye, God. Going so soon, eh? I literally exhausted all your options. What's the rush? Uh, okay. Let's see. Gotta lay me eggs. I'm actually heavy heavily pregnant. Oh, hey. You're one of those reptile fellas I made a few million years ago or so. That, yep, that would be me, God. Not judging, just saying. Fuck. You guys are weird. You made me! Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. They'll never see it coming. Ciao! Alright, let's see. Talk to a local bystander. <gasps> Hello, you're cute, but I don't know if you're d dateable. Howdy do, green partner. The name is Mikey, which is short for... <sighs> hmm. Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Uh, I'm trying to... Hey, howdy ho, neighbor. Uh, just talk like Flanders. Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Uh, hey, my name's Logan. Nice to meet you. Well, please make your acquaintance, partner. So, I actually think I used to have this phone. Uh... What can I do for you on this fine spring afternoon? He looks like he would run, like, one of those hip, like, Christian churches or something. Hello, can you take me to the fun fair, please? Aw, shucks, partner. I would, don't get me wrong. But, alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dial Town's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fun fair. That's strangely honest. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mere like it, pod scub. Well now, ain't that a coinky dink? All of my best sellers happen to be about parasites of all kind. Excuse me? Parasite? <laughs> y you won't find a man who knows more about parasitism in all of die dial town, partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do for you, cause, do, do you fur, cause, any longer and I'll be running tardy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Say, what's your latest book about? My current book's all about people, parasites, like widow old me. Nah, people, you know? Flesh-colored, bipedal critters. Critters, bleh. 
Flesh colored means nothing to me. Flesh can be different colors. It literally can. Correct. Can't say I've ever seen it in green, though, partner. Uh, I mean... Don't suppose you want to copy my latest book, would you? Uh, are, are there pictures in it? Sure are, partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words? Would I have to read? Yeah, I mean, it is a book. Pass. Hard pass. And now I deviate from my character. <laughs> well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it, then, partner? He's cute. I like him. Uh, hey, Mikey. Give me a parasite fact. Uh, parasites are one of my squicks, so I'm like, maybe, maybe not. You know, there's a world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there. Little ass ball. Uh, yes, I know about it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Anytime, partner. Uh, I am fully aware of that. Uh, I will say it in slightly more tactful words than he said it because, again, this is one of my squicks, but there's a specific species of, of isopod that parasitizes on fish that will specifically re re replace mouth organs in uh, a fish in order to consume food from them. It isn't the giant isopod. That just feeds on um, stuff at the bottom of the ocean. But this particular type, yes, is a parasite. But we're not going to be talking any more than that because, again, uh, anytime, partner. All right. So if you're into parasites, uh, are you into me? Pal, no offense, but I find you mildly upset to be gawking at at all. None taken. I get that a lot. Does he have a wedding, Grey God? No, he doesn't. Though, if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms wriggling around in that old gun of yours, give me a call. Ew. If you do, there might be some free ice upon grub in it for you. It's kind of edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? Probably just have worms. Uh, you look like you'd probably eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right. I would. Is it kibble? Can I have some? Call me later and find out, Panda. For now, is that all? Thanks, bye. Thanks for traumatizing me. Radio, right then. Sayonara, partner. I know it's Sayonara. Uh, let's go ahead and save real fast. Yes, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's leave the area. Where would you like to go? Uh, I know what the cinema entails. I know what the bank entails. Although, so we could try to do Karen's route. Like I vaguely know how to, and I am a typewriter. All right, let's let's try this. To the bank, really? Why the bank? Uh, let's see. Silence. It's my love quest. I must lay the eggs, and I must find the love. Drink the milk of human kindness and all that jazz. You have, like, six nipples. Why not just... Ew. Uh, why not just extract your own milk of whatever? Nope, that wouldn't work. The milk of human kindness probably isn't meant to be the same color as jet fuel. Jesus Christ. You know what? Perhaps not. But is the consistency of said milk still nectar inconsistency? Right. Thanks. I love weird shit like this. It's so funny. All right. Thank God. Okay. Let's go ahead and ring for a teller. Ding, ding, ding. Top of morning. Hi, pretty lady. Hello, welcome to the Dial Town City Babe. My name is Karen Dunn, and... Uh... You're greed. Yes, I am. Alright. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, uh... Apologies if this comes off as rude, but... Were you born like that? Yeah, 
Okay, sorry, that probably was a rude question to ask you. But, were you? Born is a really nice way of putting it. Sounds far more elegant than hatched or crawled out of that gutter over there. Or, oh lord, it contained... Or, or, oh lord, contain it before it lays eggs. Right, yes, okay, thank you for clearing that up. Now, were you hoping to make a transaction then, or... Alright, let's see. Uh... Are you taken tonight by any chance? Taken by what exactly? No, I meant are you free tonight? Am I... What is this? What are you asking? Can I help you? I'm trying... Alright, let's see. I'm not going to call her a pet name. That seems gross. Alright. Take me to the fun fair, please! Pardon? I wanted to ask you out on a date. You're asking me out on a date? Uh, I don't understand. Well, it is Valentine's Day, Karen. I... I knew that. Is it really the 14th already? Oh my god, it's me. So say it, ticket Jerry, yes. So, what you're asking me out for Valentine's Day... Uh, uh, so, what? You're asking me out for Valentine's Day on some kind of date? I mean, yeah? You're pretty! Well, I mean... Yeah, I could let you take me out for Valentine's Day, sure. But, why are you asking me, of all people? Alright, let's see... Well, you're the first person not to stab me for asking. At least, not literally. Oh boy, that makes me feel wanted. Alright. Come on, that's not what I meant. Well, say what you meant. Don't beat around the bush. Surely you can see that I'm different. You have green skin, half a dozen nipples, and don't even get me started on whatever your head is crafted out of. Alright, alright, I get it. You do seem to be relatively comfortable around me, though. And you're a pretty lady. That's actually not all that common. Pal, have you seen the kind of customers I get on a daily basis? No, I just walked in here, ma'am. The last three dudes that came in before you were a Shiba Inu, a hobo, and a woman who had a dude in a BDSM leather costume on a leash accompanying her. Woof. Anyway, guess which one pissed on the floor? You're weird, but you're not day ruining weird. Thank you! Uh, no! Uh, most people see me as a monster or think I smell funny. Well... I'm behind a glass. or bl oh, that's why she faded out. I'm behind glass, so I can't really smell you. You do look like you smell weird, though. Granted, that's probably true. I do have a pungent musk following my presence at all times. See, the thing is, Dial Town's a weird place. Hell, the world's a weird place. I need to hydrate. Hang on. The way I see it is, everyone weird. Er, blah, blah, blah. The way I see it is, since everyone's weird, maybe no one is. Plenty of harmless goofballs and weirdos who simply wind up in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? So, no, I don't see you as a monster. Just a cryptid who's actually t kind of talking me into this somehow. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Might be a cure for your boredom. Who said that I'm bored? You look bored. Sorry, I just presume since, you know. You sit at the same spot, talking about forms and papers all day, every day. Doesn't sound particularly riveting. Well, I... Look, this is a niche that needs to be filled. My enjoyment is completely irrelevant. You deserve to be happy, Karen! That doesn't mean you shouldn't get to treat yourself, though. I don't know. It is Valentine's Day, Karen. Okay, fine. You're right. 
We can hang out later, I guess. Gnarly, yes! How does a bump there suit you? I'd rather pretty much anywhere else, if I'm being honest. It's really kind of moist and loud. Like my ex's apartment. It's fun. Quiet, dry, and sanitary places can be fun too, you know. I've never seen fun at a dentist's office. I'd argue that a dentist's office is not quiet. Okay, but there it is then, I guess. All right then, away we go. Hell yeah, Jan. Away we don't go. My shift doesn't end for another couple hours. My shift ends at 6 p.m. and it'll likely take me a good 30 minutes to reach the fun fair. Give or take, not counting traffic and potentially getting hit by a bus or like kidnapped. Don't doom scroll, Karen. We'll say 6.30 for the sake of simplicity. Great snakes, that's hours away. What misfortune. So, does that mean I have to stand here for, like, hundreds of minutes? Well, no, because if my boss saw me letting saw me letting you loiter here for that length of time, I'd get sacked. So, you can wait for me wherever you want. Gotcha, babe. Just not here. Hmm. Mm, that is quite the question. Where should you wait? Keeping in mind, Karen won't be off work in a few couple of hours, or for a few good hours. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Well, maybe we should wa- Uh, let's see. Hold! God damn it! I'm trying to figure out how to differentiate Karen's voice and the narrator's voice. I think I'll just give the narrator a generic accent. Hi, me again, just serving up a fine little old f final slash one-time reminder. You can access the menu at any time using the escape key if you need to change any settings or save the game at any time. Also, to make this completionist playthrough easier, I've added the ba this baby at the top of the screen. It appears every time a root diverging choice occurs, reminding you to save at that moment. Meaning you could reload, get another ending, allowing you to try the other endings without adding any backpedaling. Thank you, and don't forget, better save than sorry. Thank you, God. Alright. Ah, home sweet home. Give me one second to save. No, well, actually, yes, yeah, that's fine. Alright. I should have saved on file three for simplicity's sake. Ah. Er, ah, home sweet home. Cease this flattery. You hate my house as much as I do. I can hear the venom in your voice. You despise it. Well, I would say I, I would despise this tent less if you just scrubbed the floors and bleached the fuckhole for once. I am pregnant, I implore you. Do not ask such things of me. Does such things include any suggestions of mine that entail you picking up the occasional old holy sock from the tent floor and dropping them into the nearby uh, pod till they're relevantly cleaner or till you smell less like your tent? Yes. Right. Well, at least you get to be alone with your own thoughts, right? Logan? You okay, bud? No, I'm never okay, but thank you. Oh, dear God! Uh, there was a lot to read there. Nice thoughts. This has been a truly ghastly experience. My mind is buzzing with the most wretched of insights. You really do need constant simulation at all times, don't you? What can you say? You know how me loves stimulation. What do you hope to accomplish flirting with the disembodied voice? There are people who call phone specs hotlines in fairness. Do you see much difference? Those... <laughs> those individuals hardly count as human, though. And I do... Checkmate! Just know that I'm not dirty talking you. Last thing I need is for your arousal glands to inflate to force your eggs out of your rear end, ending the plot prematurely. You would know about my arousal glands? I was kidding. Please don't tell me you actually have those. Hey, hey, look, a distraction. I love this game, it's so weird. Hello? What the fuck? 
a distraction. Don't you mean a cockroach? Those aren't mutually exclusive, you know. It's a fridge. Cockroaches can be distracting. Especially when they're flying at you. Damned roaches. Rats with antennae, I just say. It's a good thing they don't get much bigger than this, right? Not usually, no. God, I'm so hungry. Eat the roach! You're not going to. No, not even you would. Num, 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 num. That was very wet. Despicable. I have no regrets. You should have numerous regrets. Well, I don't. Your whole life has been a shell of an existence. A tower of mistakes built upon a foundation of war crimes. Play off me, man. I live in a tent. An empire of dirt. Dirt's fine, man. Why are you suppressed? <laughs> Grass grows from it and shit. Where does there need to? You just ate a cockroach. You didn't even season it. You think I have salt? What am I, a Roman legionnaire sec seconds after re re receiving their salary? How do you not know what Gravel's primary function is yet? Have... Have enough trivial knowledge to know how the Roman. How do you not know what Gravel's prime motherfucker? Let's try this one more time. How do you not know what Gravel's primary function is yet have enough trivial knowledge to know how the Roman Empire paid their soldiers? How long have you been around? Long enough. Oh god. Oh god. How long have I been around? Cease. Maybe I'm a god. It's fun bow time. Stop saying that. Ah, be nectar. Stop calling it that. Time to get bleh, totally smacker whippened. Stop talking. I beseech you. Also, shouldn't you stay sober for your dates? After all, you hardly want to chug, chug too much of that, lest you arrive late, sticky, and syrupy like you smell like a toddler's fever dream. It, it'll help with my nerves. What nerves? You're as calm as can be. In fact, if you get any calmer, your sphincter muscles might unclench right here, right now, releasing your eggs prematurely. Don't do it, Logan. Sobriety is for Jerry's. Come on, don't do that. Don't make Jerry a category. I Here's the thing. I want to know what Jerry hurt people that Jerry became like a name for just like a stick in the mud because the weird character in Undertale was also named Jerry. Don't make Jerry a thing. And why the fuck should I? What has Jerry ever done to contribute to the world? Aside from, like, performing a function in society. Well, yeah, aside from that. He has a wife and several very ill... All Satans? AI Satans? To care for. S so, what else? He probably has a house somewhere. He likes... Oh, he probably has a house somewhere. He seems the type to keep his lawn in decent, sh decent shape. A and what else? Fuck it. What do you bring to society? Oh, oh, I know this one. I like eat ticks and junk. I said society. Not the ecosystem. If you love Jerry so much, why don't you follow him around instead? Pout. I would, except Jerry is too well adjusted to hear fucking voices! This is too much word violence! I need me nectar! Down the hatch! We just chugged a lot of cough syrup, okay, gotcha. Many hours later. Hi, Karen! Hi, Algerimo! It's me! Logan! I spoke in three colors there. Logan, you are a disgrace. What the hell, Logan? I've been here for an hour. I told you exactly when I'd be here. Give or take traffic times. Traffic isn't even that bad tonight. What on earth took you so long? Sorry. Sorry. So part of the lady. Engagement, I... Very lucrative importance, yes, and you are. Okay, see? You should have honestly just taken my advice and left as soon as I advised you to, Karen. They're clearly out of their mind on phone god knows what. It's cough syrup. 
You smell like synthetic raspberry and toddler nightmares. Uh, why do you look so sticky? Sorry. Sorry, I'm, you know, sometimes late how doing. Sometimes really is sometimes. I am tripping balls on cough syrup. Yep, those were whole words, all right. I wonder what they think yes, they're saying. Shut up. Bitch. You still sure you want to do this, Cameron? I mean... They do look pretty sticky. Yeah, you could totally just, like, put posters on me. It's a fun game. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm more upset that they've added... Addled on... Myst that they're addled on mystery nectar or that they forced me to wait at the gate for hours while they indulged in their habits I'm a changed goblin Karen a new specimen you aren't wearing pa am I not I've cut my life down to the bare essentials Karen run I'll distract them with fast hand motions and funny vocal noises while you skedaddle. Thank you, Jerry. You're a real pal. No, this is awful, but... Well, this is honestly the last outcome that I predicted would have happened. I'm full of surprises, babe. As angry as I am, I kind of want to see what'll happen next. Garen, you're not. Surely $2 is worth the price of admission. To the fun fair, and for a front row seat to whatever caper this could possibly be. Logan, do you have M O N E Y money? Is paper green Mario that is no? Or, uh, hang on, I need my voice. Is paper green Mario that is no? Having a shilling meant no got yes? Feral me is. See, I heard a lot of NTs in there, or NTS in there, which would likely indicate a no answer. Garen, they're just using you for a free ticket. You're damn right I am. Stop. Don't get in the way. <laughs> you know, on account of the whole two-for-one ticket dealio we got going on tonight. Really? So... The only shred of affection that I've been shown in the last... Stop, don't make me cry. The only shred of affection that I've been shown in the last five years is just... I'm afraid so. They just want you to pay them in, like a printer-clutching parasite, so they can lay their eggs in a damp ditch deep within the funfair's untamed grounds. Oh, I get this. I thought you were actually serious for a moment. <laughs> the one time she doesn't take people literally. No, no, Karen, I, I really meant it. They are going to... I may have a bit of a reputation not detecting sarcasm, but come on, Jerry. Yeah, come on, Jerry, fuck you. <laughs> you think I'm enough of a fool to believe that Logan lays eggs? <laughs> You're in for a, su a surprise tonight, honey. Karen, I really mean it. They're akin to a fucking Sasquatch. An oily, moist, egg-laying Sasquatch. Two tickets for me, and my date, please, Jerry. <laughs> how do I pronounce this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Look, it's a wild story, I know, but... Hell, why do I even care? This is out of my hands now, it's also out of your pay grade. Fuck off, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. And you two go, I guess. Enjoy the... Yeah. Thank one and all, Jeremiah and Carmel. We go in, yes. Can I please stop tripping on... It's like frothing at the mouth. Can I please stop tripping on cough syrup? Okay, egg laying talk aside, you are definitely under the influence of something. I am, and I don't know why I am not, like, sobering up. It's been hours since I took the cough syrup. She's so pretty. Alright, here we are. I hope for your sake that you're at least partially sobering up. So do I, because that dialogue's hard to read. Otherwise, this won't be much of a talkative night. Egg. Sobriety. Uh. 
Is that a yes or a mere acknowledgement of the concept of sobriety? I'm getting there, Carbo. I'm getting there. That was almost my name, so that's reassuring. Maybe we could go on, or maybe we could go on a ride or two. I, I always default to Bostonian. Shake the last bit of, bit of nectar from the old gut. Well, all right. What did you have in mind? Uh, hmm. How about that crab claw looking thing that screams definitely or de deafening metal in Mexican? Uh. Okay. Too loud. I don't do loud. Neither do I. So let's get away from that thing. That was terrifying. That also looked like a health hazard. Then why'd you ask me to the fun fair? Let's go on the fucking Ferris wheel, man. That's quiet. The fun fair was your... <clears throat> Surely you could think of something at least somewhat quieter than El Crabo. What about that coaster over there? We're about to get jump scared again. The funeral planner, I think it's called. Not a chance. Why not? You know why it's called the funeral planner, don't you? Yeah, that's why I want to go on it. Not as such, no. Ay! Oh. Farewell. Okay, that filled in some gaps, yeah. Alright, so you want something that isn't flashy or loud or dangerous. Go on the fucking Ferris wheel! Ideally, yes. Jeez, that really whittles down the selection, doesn't it? Well, how about the carousel? <gasps> yes! What is that? I don't speak Italian. I love when she, like, flips down her, her paper window. It's really funny. It's... <sighs> In terms you'd understand, horse wheel. Oh, the horsey wheel! The, the, the horse tornado, yeah. Why did she just say that? Why is my stomach growling? Anyway... Man, I haven't seen one of these babies in a long time. It looks so cute. Uh, you like horses then? I kind of do, yeah. She's a horse girl! Why, do you? Uh, they're alright, I guess. Right. They just kind of stand around making dumb noises with their mouth all day. That's what I do. Well, that and galloping around, eating hay and oats and other assorted grades. What more can you ask for, for creatures such as a horse? Right. Don't take this the wrong way, but you are awful at dating. Well, I am aromantic, so yeah. Uh, thanks. I like to think so, too. Thank you, Karen. Now on to the horsey go-round we get. Alright, let's see if we get flung off at the speed of light. Oh, dear God! Say, what's this? It's staring into my soul. What do you mean? Why are there heads like that? Oh, well, it must be an antique. I don't understand. It's staring into my fucking soul. Why doesn't this horsey have an engine for a head? How else can I properly gauge the beast's horse power? Was there... Oh, okay, right. Everything in this is an object head. Like I said, it's clearly an antique, so there was a time before object heads? This carousel must have been produced before the worldwide dial-up. Okay. Sounds like the dimensional merge or some shit. If there's any Christorians in the chat. <laughs> uh, it wasn't just us who had that done to us, you know. Animals, too. I know, I've seen an emu that has a rifle for a head. Really? Yep. Orig and we also just saw a cockroach that was built out of a fucking, uh a uh, refrigerator originally or cat oh, originally mechanical and organic entities were distinct so the whole world was altered but surely not everyone must have been manually changed surely someone must have been missed right don't tell me this is another one of your cloud theories again have I told you any cloud theories yet ma'am Okay, never mind, never mind. Hold on. Beep. There we go. Let's just get on the horsey wheel. Alright, let's see, loves. <gasps> She's so pretty! 
All right. This is nice. You know, I really didn't think anything particularly fruitful would come from tonight, but... Uh... I think I feel... She's so pretty! <gasps> uh, are... Hello? Uh, 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 uh... Ma'am? Oh no, my gut. The horse romance has shooketh my gut. Pardon. It's egg time! I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, Karen, it's been real. But I must now flee to a nearby ditch. Logan, wait. She's so pretty. Alright. Here. This hole will do. Do you... Do you really think abandoning Karen like that was fair? On the horsey go round, no less. It's nothing sacred anymore. Shut. Pregnancy waits for no one. That's actually pretty much true. Not for Karen. Not for me. Not even the horsey wheel. All right, all right, fine. Speaking of pregnancy, waiting for no one. Would he... Okay. Fun. Well, there you are. Your young lip. This is not got. We are not. No. Not in the fucking goddamn. Sorry, let me organize my thoughts. What in the Star Wars prequels? <laughs> Your repugnant, scaly younglings lying in a ditch on the cold, hard ground. Do you feel pride, Logan? Parental pride. Sure. Uh, I would die for these little bastards. Well, hopefully it won't come to- I will die for them, and that's final! Right. They're a little exposed, don't you think? Oh god, oh fuck, predators! Just imagining me just, like, kicking it with my feet. There we go. Now I can... Hi, Karen! Logan! There you are! Oh, hey, Karen. Sorry about ditching you. Um, I had to... Uh, but let's be fully honest with her. Give birth. Seriously? You expect me to believe that you... The nest, Karen! Dig for the eggs. They lie beneath the topsoil. Let me get this straight. You want me to dig in the cold, hot earth? It's not hard. I literally just kicked it, so it's gotta be soft. With my bare hands. I'll do it for you. To check whether or not you've laid eggs whilst on a date. Sometimes some questions are better not answered. Uh... Th that's it. Good, ma'am. I can't believe you just run off on me like this during an intimate moment, no less. What else should I have expected? Uh... Karen, I need a favor. Could you... You could not be asking at a worst possible time. But you piqued my curiosity, so reveal what you want, knowing that I will almost certainly say no. Uh... <laughs> I need a lift home. Oh, no, I'd never get my car seat dry again after you touch it. You look like you create sticky spots and stains just by sitting down. What in the Omegaverse? Carrot, please, my jelly legs. Right. Just put, like, a trash bag down or something. Yeah, well, I'm off. This was dreadful, thank you. Don't mention it, Karen. I feel so bad. She's so pretty. See you again soon. She's so pretty and we treat her... No. We treat her so bad. I really like her. Anyway. Morning, Logan. Er, uh, morning, Logan. Up and at him. Ah, fuck. Why am I still alive? I've reproduced already. Surely that's plenty. I thought I'd just shrivel up and die by now. Me too, but, you know. Purpose fulfilled. End of story. Oh, come on. What are you? A spider or an octopus? You don't have legs. Bipedal pounding. 
or you don't have the legs. I have legs. Bi bipedal pouting. Oh no, you're not off the hook that easy. After all, what of your eggs when they hatch? Who will feed them? What about predators? Uh, you think they're doing all right right now? Well, you buried them, so unless anyone feels like digging in the cold, hard ground, forage for eggs. Maybe check in on them in a week's time. Noted. Yes. <clears throat> so you're awake now. Unfortunately, yeah. So, what now? Hmm. Yeah, see, I'm not good at coming up with ideas. At least ideas that don't involve pregnant groaning and foraging and scurrying. You did not just have to say that. And with my young having evacuated my, sw my swollen live gut, I guess that leaves the or scurrying and foraging on the table. Look, I've said this to you before, and I'll say it again. Scurrying and foraging are fine as occasional hobbies, but come on. They don't quite fill the gaps that would normally be consumed by shit like child rearing or having a job. Foraging is a perfectly productive activity. It really isn't. It sure is. I can get food out of that. That lady on TikTok, I think her name is Alexis, she teaches me all about how to make foraging food. Did you know you can make jelly out of acorns? Foraging, scavenging. You are literally a fucking hunter-gatherer. I don't like that tone. You're a troglodyte. A literal Neanderthal. Oh, right. See, I've uh, never denied such allegations. Look, even deer and wa wil wa wildebeests and shit tend to have shit to get up and do. I'm sure you have something to do other than aimless scurrying or scratching the ground like a peckish boar. Excuse me, I am a boar. Don't be rude. That's that's insensitive. Wait. Karen. I wonder what she's up to now. I do too. She's probably at work. She does live in a society as the rest of humanity does. The rest of humanity? You think I'm human? People may live in a society, but not all creatures that dwell within the confines of society are necessarily people. I don't understand. Park swans, leash dogs, the occasional lost boar. It's me! That wanders into a nearby convenience store to run amok and knock over displays. Shit, yeah, boar in a store. Fuck, you're right, how could I have been so foolish? Point is, unlike some people... Karen, is, Karen isn't totally feral and likely needs to work so she can pay rent because she lives in a building with walls and a roof. Sounds claustrophobic. I gotta let me hydrate. Your tent has walls, though, doesn't it? And a roof? Baby wants out. Find Karen. You certainly want to find Karen. I imagine... I can't imagine she'll be too pleased after last time you saw her. It'll be fine. She works in the public sector. She just say, she, I'm sure she received wanted cruelty daily. Probably. That's neither nice nor fair. But it's what she expected. And away we go. Alright, as soon as this loads in, I am going to save real fast. Oh. Hello. Chapter 2. So, uh... So, so, uh... What the hell does that say? I cannot read that font. I, I'm i blind as shit, apparently. I fucking love this game, by the way. Like, bad props to, uh... Uh... Oh, shit. The name, what's the name of the crater? Fuck. Um, uh, I'll... I'll, I'll uh, yeah, they're cool. Anyway, hang on. Let's save. Alright. Beep, beep. Yes, please. Yep. Thank you. Uh, escape out of there. Ah! Dig, dig, dig! Hi, Karen, you're pretty. Logan? Why are you here? Alright, let's see. How about, I need emotional support. Karen, I need emotional support. Dial Town City Bank is a bank, you know. Not a first childhood trauma's rats on the house therapist's office. Define childhood? Tell me, does this childhood thing also apply for hatchlings? Look, I can't think about hatchlings right now. I'm at work. So, unless you have any important business with Dialtown City Bank today... I don't understand, Karen. 
Alright. I thought what we had was special. Special? You ditched me during the date! And according to you, it was to lay eggs in a nearby ditch. I did not lay my eggs. Don't, don't. I did that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Oop, hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's save. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright. Uh... I'm dreadfully sorry, Karen. That the music's getting really loud. I was just so heavily pregnant. Look, this is all very interesting, but I'm at work and there's a vast line developing behind you. Hi, friends. Oh, the the hobo's here. Uh, oh yikes! I see what you mean. Look, you could just leave and come back when it's less busy if you really want to have this conversation. I do, because you're pretty! I can't just have you occupying this space to this long without getting in trouble with my boss, after all. Yes, ma'am. So, what'll it be? Uh... Let's just come back later. Alright. Er, alright, alright. I probably should've saved, but it's fine. If I gotta come back, I'll be back. Fantastic. See you when you inevitably decide to return. Because, yeah, it, 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 I don't want her to lose her job. Because she's pretty, so. All right. All right, you successfully done it. L let's give him a little bit more of a twang to his accent, um, since Karen has, like, kind of a general accent. All right, you successfully done it. You placed your fo one foot in front of the other and displaced yourself outside the confines of the bank. Congrats. When go? When go back? I don't know. Whatever less busy is so i just wait it seems it you i'm sure you won't be waiting for long whoa 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 what the fuck just happened hang on a second yeah i was about to say have i been loitering around here for 24 fucking hours uh, 25 continuous hours by my count yeah i karen uh, this must have just been some kind of mistake. On her part, or yours? Well, hers, I hope. Uh, should I go back in? I feel like telling you to get lost and making no kind of effort to retrieve you is kind of a big fuck no response to that question, at least on Karen's part. On the other hand, do you have anything else you feel like doing today? So, back in I go. I fucking love this game, man. Let's see. Hello? Uh, I must ring for care. There's no bell. There's no clapper. Where? Where's the rope? Surely I have something in my pocket I can hit on, hit on the bell. See, that's rarely a good sign. Karen, you wench! I summoned the bank harlot! Come! Hi. What? Karen, the bell dangly by boy, it is absent. I know, because I took it off you to stop you ringing it excessively. And yet... Uh, Karen, I don't understand. Am I dying? You're not dying so much as you're just bad. B bad? I don't understand. Did I fuck up? See, the thing is, you ended up disappearing for like a whole day, and that actually gave me time to think. No! Did I fuck up the route? No! I realized that I don't really feel like dating a lime-hued hexadipple Neanderthal. Oh no, did I, did I fuck up the route? So I just told security to put you on the remove from the premises list. No! Gay babies. <laughs> oh, dad, look, it's me. I really try not to serve difficult customers' lifetime bads. But if your relationship with Jerry is anything to go by, you definitely just keep coming back. Uh. So, this is goodbye then? 
Yes, goodbye. Did I fuck up? Um... I, I don't know if it's gonna make it worse. L l let's leave, l let's leave. Shoo, ghost cat. Did I fuck up? What did I do? I'm so fucking bad. Oh, cheer up, buddy. It's not all bad. Oh, oh, cheer up, buddy. It's not all bad. Okay, so, like, fine. It is very bad. Yes. That whole exchange killed a few seconds, though, right? I am so fucking bad. I am bad. She's pretty. Why? You've gone on exactly one and only one date with Karen. You're the romance equivalent of a free party sample uh, of deviled eggs. A green platter made from various skins and leathers stitched together. Oh, and your eggs smell like fragrant syrups and nectars. Besides, wasn't all of this just to gain entry to the fun fair so you could unload your vile, lime-scale coated offspring? What do you feel she could possibly owe you? She's ready! Some company, perhaps. Uh... I think I might love her. You... love her? No, I might love her. You know, tender feelings and shit. Like, you only hear about in chocolate and commercials. Oh, I see. A feeling, yes. I had no idea that you felt emotions other than craving and lust and nectar. Is nectar an emotion? Well, you certainly seem to think it is. Uh, speaking of... Hell yeah, let's get drunk. Ah, me nectar. Oh, Logan, I have to insist you don't do this. Fuck you, I do what I want. I just got dumped by the love of my life. She was so pretty. Nectar Supreme. Stop calling it that. If I want to think outside of the box, this is how I'll do it. Ugh, sorry, I got the burps. This won't end well. This will end well. All's well that ends well. Oh, 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 wow, damn. We hit the good shit this time. <laughs> This was such a poorly conceived plan, and you were alerted of this prior to its execution. Silence, shout lobe. Hmm. Maybe I don't seem dedicated enough. Oh, dear God, this is gonna be cringe. Like, I don't want her enough? Because I left and didn't demand she came with me. So we haven't failed officially because i think there's a screen for when you fail so like we're still on the route i gave up too easily i mean it also made me the six nipples or the egg laying thing silence i need to think outside of the casket i must actually project my ideas for my brain hello spirit assistant this game is very weird if you haven't been warned to reality. Logan, this is already going as poorly as it could possibly go. Oh. Get that dialogue off my screen. Wait, I know. I need to make, oh God, no, don't, just let her, oh no, maybe I don't want to pursue Karen if it's gonna like be this stupid shit. I don't know, man. I need to make a grand gesture. But what? Oh god, please. No, this is the there is no longer any viable solution to this problem. You need to be contained. Not an SCP. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh let's go ahead and save. Alright, cool. Yep. Alright. Oh god, none of these choices are good. Oh, dear. Yeah, I've actually got an SCP. Uh, I have two. I have a safe class and a Euclid. Uh, uh, I'm gonna guzzle batteries, and we'll see if it works. I need to energize myself. Batteries. Logan, what are you going to do with those? Devour. Oh, come on. De 13.9 packs of batteries later. Uh, excruciating gurgling. 
Logan, stop this. One more. One more till I hurt, hit 14 packs in me gullet. It's just one more. I'm gonna die. But the battery clearly isn't meant to be eaten. I'm not chewing them, so it's good. I just need to be get me electric lights. Ugh. Oh god, my stomach. This is a what's happening? Oh god, my wretched gut. It feels like it's liquidizing from within. Yeah, you ate fucking batteries. You know, it probably is. Those batteries did all contain con concentrated sulfuric acid. I doubt even your cryptid tub is accustomed to eating something like that. Oh god, oh fuck. Yeah, I, I, adore, I adore this game. I flew too close to the sun. 13 beer packs of these would have sufficed. Alright, alright, I get it. You're dumb and you're dying, sure. Stop drawing this out, I've got places to be. Got a date with another disembodied thought being. She's an orb. Raw. Eh, maybe Hell's absolute wretchedness is just overhyped. Get it? Er, get it? As in all hell? Ha! The batteries, you see. I am so wise. Alright. If we die, we'll just reload. Did we die? The ending where you overdose on battery acid. Alright, that's fine. So we got an ending. Uh, let's get back into our saves. Alright, let's go ahead and load. Alright, decide to rob the bank as a display of bravado. What if? Hear me out. Uh-huh. I just suck and rob the bank. Yeah, don't do that. Poppycock, it'll work. How? In what way? What are you hoping that'll happen? That Karen will be too afraid to say no? Ah, nah, nah, it's nothing like that. She needs to see that I'm, like, serious about this in a jug. So you're robbing her place of work. Yeah, exactly. Good man. This is a really poor idea. I urge you to. Uh, oh, come on. Fading out screen while I'm real mature. I just literally interrupted him. Hang on, let me hydrate. So you're really doing this, huh? I have to. Do I? For Karen! Uh, what the hell did I just do? Well, see... Well, I see you've got your little kit prepared. I, I thought I pulled down my pants. <laughs> Catch it, Scott. Can you... Cat... Cat... I think that's a typo. I, I think it was... They were trying to type either care to discuss any of it, or can you discuss any of it? Nah. Sure. So, what's your strategy, then? Strategy? What's your plan? I don't understand what you mean. See, this is already a worrying start. Okay, say you just charge right into the bag. Now what? Hmm. I'll figure it out before I walk in. You sure you won't forget? Nah, nah, of course not, no! Everybody on the ground, this is a robbery! Is that a banana? Booby but an engine all squirt. <laughs> Please don't use that phrasing. Threatening gurgling. <laughs> Look, this is already getting Look, this is already getting old, and this is only the first and hopefully the last time you've attempted to hold the place up. Alright. Attempted? This is a hold up! A real robbery! Look, it's 30 minutes from clothing closing time, and I have to serve every customer standing patiently in line behind you before I can leave. So, can we hurry the robbery along, please? Aren't you afraid? Like, at all Son, you have a banana. I'm afraid that you might end up hurting yourself somehow. I mean, security would probably break your neck if I called them on you. So you do care about me! Yeah, no, it's not quite that. More so that our janitor works really hard, you see? The security would totally sever your neck, causing your entire head to just pull up off and spill green blood, maggots, or whatever swishes around inside your body to be onto our easy-to-clean, polished hardwood. Think of the stain. My life is a stain. 
Okay, look, I do feel mildly sorry for you, being a sentient primate with empathy and all. But, can you please hurry this along? You mean, this isn't working? I mean, if working means majorly inconveniencing my evening, maybe. I have a microwave dinner at home that's just 6.5 hours away from reaching its Best Buy date. I, I just realized I should probably check the microwave food at our, fr at our fridge, but... <laughs> How's that for serious? Oh, shit, Carrot, I had no idea. I'm... Look, how about this? I give you, like, a hundred dollars to go in a doggy bag, and then I'll, like, call the fuzz in the morning and have you arrested instantly. Wait, my robbery has been successful? You get one hundred dollars, talk to sixteen hours to go have with it, I get to go home tonight and eat my microwave dinner... Why are we negotiating? And best of all, once you're in jail, I don't have to deal with this ever again. How's that for a deal? Karen, this is about more than just $100. I want another date. Um... Uh... Karen, I love you. I'm doing all this to show that I'm being serious. Instead of, like, buying me flowers or whatever. I don't have money! I figured this would be more memorable. In the same way a dumpster fire would be as a romantic gesture. Exactly, Karen, you get it. Wait, you knew that was my plan B? Please tell me you're using that sarcasm thing I keep hearing so much about. Uh, sure. <coughs> Hi! Hi, sorry to interrupt, but I can't help but notice that you're trying to rob the it took me a moment, since you're so gosh darn awful at holding places up, evidently. Uh, you, you, you speak in an, an awfully blunt way for someone with such a sharp weapon in your hand. Hey, yo. Let's just romance the guard. See, pal, you're clearly in the wrong career, because when I want to tell a joke, I just tend to start stabbing people. Please don't stab me. Oh, you're in the mob, aren't you? Sure am. Anyway, yeah, I was actually about to rob this place myself. Please don't. But now that you're in the middle of it, I won't step on your toes. He's cute. Can we romance him? I'll just let you finish this train wreck all on your own. Thank you, babe. Besides, the cop showing up is an, inevitable, is an inevitability at this point, so I might as well just stand back and use this thing as free market research. Uh... You are a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you, sir. All right, then, pal. Good luck with jail and all. Bye. Call me at uh, 800 Bob if you need a lawyer. It's more crooked than my aim, which I assure you is very crooked. It's all the hard drugs, you see. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Karen. What a nice man. Ah! Aw, oh, man. Anyway, can you, like, please lift the shutter and stuff? I don't like the lack of options it's given me. No. Drat. Thought that might work. Honestly, the most fascinating part of this oh-so-hilarious character study on Dial Town's Weirdest Citizen is the equipment that you thought you needed for the robbery itself. I don't understand what you mean. I packed the essentials. That banana looks delicious, by the way. All right, did you organize a getaway driver? Well, I did leave a large stray dog outside. Took me a while to find one large enough to fit both of us onto its back. The one that the street washers lured away a few minutes ago with some raw meat. No, puppy! And two, doggy. Your weapon of choice is a banana, which... I don't even know why you'd choose a banana of all things. It's kind of gun-shaped. Figured you wouldn't notice from the distance you are. From less than five feet away behind to be a single pane of bulletproof glass. Yeah, see, when you say it out loud, the banana is also peeled. Well, yeah, in case I get hungry. And I am hungry. Bananas are objectively a fine source of potassium. Right, yes... 
You're also wearing a shirt this time, and boy, is it fitting. Thank you, I found it in the trash. And it came with a hole over one of your nipples, no less. Actually, I added that myself. Why? Show a bit of skin and a wee bit of specs appeal, you know? <laughs> the false mustache is also quite inspired too, but of course it obscures very little. Ah oh, shit, I forgot I was wearing this. I completely gave myself away. I could have gone undetected. Rookie mistake. To be clear, if it wasn't so much it wasn't so much that you forgot that you were wearing the stash, but rather your glistening slime hued skin and stitched together skinhead. Sunglasses also didn't help you hide an awful lot either. Well, maybe I just don't like eye contact. I don't, correct. Neither of us have eyes. Best part of being an object, then, babe. Right, yeah. Ah, shit, I guess the game was rigged from the start. I'm sorry, is that a Fallout New Vegas quote? Hello. Yeah, plus, the police should be here any moment. Mad props to that Fallout New Vegas reference. Wh what? Did you hear that they're getting, uh, they're in talks to do a sequel? Um, uh, yeah, I pressed the silent notify police button as soon as you stormed in. And two, Karen. Hi, guys. All right, where are they? Right over there, officer. Please drag them off the property. My microwave dinner, dinner thanks you. All right, kid. Lower the banana and surrender. We can, that way we can get this over with. Uh... I'm gonna save, just in case. All right, yep. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, bye, Karen, bye, Bob guy. Rather than getting, like, destroyed. All right. Well, isn't this just wonderful? You've been imprisoned yet again in the Dialtown City Jail, no less. Guess it beats the Dialtown City Zoo, though, right? Uh... Was this really the best outcome we could have achieved? Well, obviously this isn't even close to the best outcome you could have achieved when you got up this morning. Not even close. What about after I decided to rob the bank, then? Right, so after you decided to store the bank, armed with a banana. Oh, yeah, you definitely have the best outcome. You didn't get shot by the fuzz, shit your pads, and die on the spot, after all. Very true. There's dogs in here, apparently? Think they might let me go off for good behavior? Well, they can't- or can you behave? Uh... Is Squirty considered a felony by our fair legal system? If it is, you'd have gotten the death penalty by now. Come on, Logan. Well... Now that you're again in captivity, I guess I wanted to ask. Do you have any regrets? Uh, I might never see my babies hatch. On the bright side, if you bribe the right guards, you might be able to get transferred to a cell overlooking the fuck there. Then it's just a matter of getting a pair of binoculars smuggled into this place. Do you think the guards would accept horse jerky as a bribe? Seriously, it's chewy. Well, I guess you might as well just wail until someone comes to break you out. Good stuff. And now for a poem from yours truly. Oh, gods. <clears throat> I am a creature. A feral creature. From the wilderness. I am famous for my screech. Kid! Oh, so there you are. I had a feeling that the desolate wails I heard were coming from your cell. Plus, I had a feeling you'd be somewhere between the grades and oats specific offenses and ultra death row block of cells. Karen, you came. I tend to be punctual, yes. So, how's prison? Uh, it's like the zoo, but with varying amount of crime and gorillas. So, does that mean more or less of each? Varying. Just varying. Also, fuck, no peanuts. 
That is a shade, yes. I truly feel in captivity now. Oh, it's not all bad. You had the chance to meet any other inmates yet? No, Karen. Not really. Dude in the cell next to me keeps barking? Yeah, that's not a dude. That's just a dog. What? Pad's overcrowded. You might end up getting a pug cellmate soon. A pug? Really? See, it's not all bad. I came, to, I came to see you after all. Yes, you did, and you're very pretty. Why is that, anyhow? You called the fuzz on me. Yeah, granted, I did call the cops on you, but that was nothing personal. D d uh, dial town city police po or city bag policy and whatnot. So, you don't hate me? Oh no, I definitely despise you, which is exactly why I went out of my way to see you. Sure. How was that? Sarcasm. Bye bye. You've evolved. How long have I been in here? She's so cute. I fucking love her. Months? Years? Millennia? Like, uh, three hours. Actually, I can use sarcasm just fine. I just don't tend to detect it from other people. Why don't I just reveal one of my weaknesses to you? Maybe it means you trust me? Yeah, of course I trust you with all of my darkest secrets. I can't tell if that was sarcasm or if the barking next door is making you go deaf. Look, you goop. <laughs> After you left, I did some thinking. Mainly about how bored I was until you I annoyed her into loving me! Hell yes! Uh, mainly about how bored I was until you arrived. And only before you arrived. Having a weird wretch hold up your bag with a banana seems like the definitive cure for that. Uh, wait, so my moronic robbery plan actually worked? If your plan was to pique my interest by exploiting my... Drudging... Drudgerous, drudgerous. My drudgerous daily boredom, then... Contingency plan. <laughs> then congrats, you did it. You are officially tolerable in small doses. Look, I do genuinely hate my job. You're unpredictable, and having you behind bars is actually not the worst thing that's ever happened. Because I get to observe you, observe you without being in danger of losing my job. And without the risk of either of us sustaining massive injuries and slash or trauma. So... You, you'll come visit me? That's the plan, yes. HELL YES, CHAT, WE'RE IN! I'll visit on less eventful weekends, I suppose. Oh yeah! But say, can I ask one favor, though? Depends on what it is, but sure, shoot. Can you please occasionally check on my nest? My eggs, you see. That's the dirt mound you scurried over to. After we rode the carousel, I take it? The very same mound, yes. All right, all right. I'll visit once a week. Make sure the mound's undisturbed. Shoo away any mean-looking birds from the general vicinity of the nest. You name it. Oh, yeah! So everything worked out just fine in the end. Aside from you being locked up in prison, that is. Free house. Everything worked out just fine in the end, I said. I did the thing, Kara. Don't, don't insult me. All right, let's see. Uh... I want to be off the screen as soon as I can. The ending where you go to jail, but Karen's kind of into it, so it's cool, I guess. All right, all right. Cool. Huh. I don't know if that was the best possible option. But I also feel like it was probably... the best for the time, so I'm actually... I'm going to start a new run. I might regret this, but I'm going to start a new run because it's kind of difficult working with this. This time I'm going to be a telephone. All right, let's see. Datables met, one out of four. And plus, I, I, I went through the two chapters. Uh, I could easily figure out all of her, but I kind of want to figure out the others. 
Uh, let's see. You must find a bad, help a bad emerge from a dumpster, save a die. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. So none of those have to do with. Wait. Hi, God. You know what? I might come back and revisit Karen because it said to help an artist follow her dreams. I'll try to figure out that out later because I think she's the only female presenting person. Um, technically, I skipped through this by accident, so let's not skip through this. All right, let's see. All right, hello, dog. Hi, puppy. Hello. Welcome to Dial Town. The phone dating sim. You must answer this town's questions. Three. What is your name? Uh, let's go with... Log. For right now, just to differentiate it from our other play. Really? That's your name? Oh, Hud. I'm so sorry. Alright. I'm just how God, uh, I'm just how God made me, dog. I am God. Anywho, get second question. Let's go with the phone this time. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Enjoy your telemarketers living in your head. Uh, well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. My greatest burden is remembering where I burned my own breadsticks at at any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Uh, private investigator. This time I'm a dodo. Ha. Huh. Not even sure what to fill in in the line of the questionnaire. Questionnaire? There's no paper. You're just asking me questions. Do not question how. Duh. Warning. NPCs will occasionally refer to you by species goblin where, you know, where perfect gender neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. Alright. Can I just play the game? I don't know. Can you? May I play the game? Uh. All right, then. Get out of my sight. Thank you, dog. But yeah, I didn't get this little intro-y bit, so... That's why I wanted to do that, because I accidentally panicked because I fucked up my stuff. All right. Hmm. You, simple creature. Seems I'm alive again. Ouch! Darn. I hate it when I do that. Hmm. Hmm. My non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. Must be getting ready to hatch. Time for reproduction is now. Hi. I must find a dank pit to lay my eggs in. That's scaring the shit out of me. Fairground. Fairground is dark and dank and greasy. Plenty of supply of carnival. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. Cool. Let's go pester Ticket Jerry. Mission Gate, go to the fun fair. Alright. Let's attempt to get in. Well, there we have it. Oh, well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, and yet so far. Must gate entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly mile. Bastard narrator! Need to lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. Oh. Ba -da -da. Hi, uh, Ticket Jerry. Greetings, Ticket for Food. My name is Jerry, but okay, my green acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to get entrance, Cherry of Ticket Booth. Well, you do you wish to buy a ticket, Goblin? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss off any of your rides this year. Or piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge. I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as There are too many P's in that sentence. Uh, as, as payment? 
Uh, no. No, I would not. Ah, shoot. I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin that lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? Oh, no. My cover's been blown. Look. Goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only telling you this because your stench is going to drive away customers if you, I let you loiter here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Uh, Valentine's Day? Isn't that for, like, romantic people? My arrow ass would absolutely say that. Yeah, but... Didn't you say you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre dribble to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Uh, no, I'm a loader. Yeah, I was going to say, you could easily... Uh, uh, there are plenty of species that don't need another person. Uh, well, I guess that explains why you live so close to the woods. That's a real shame about that loader thing, though. Because my promotion we have on for Valentine's Day would have really come in handy otherwise. You intrigue me, Ticket Man. Tell me more. Well, <sighs> Valentine's Day is for people, uh, you know, in love. Uh, this love thing. Is it a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. Well, sorta. Oh, my fucking gods. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drive all or drink all kinds of exotic elixirs, elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together and feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steven, your guy in your accounting firm who works at the same cubicle as you, but makes six percent set more than you for you, you can finally have a good night's sleep. That sounds very personal, Ticka Jerry. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today. Just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one. For couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, uh, I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite? Aw, parasite, thank you. Granted, it'd take a real bastard. Mission acquired! Oh, oh god, fuck it. Must, source, mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. Alright. Uh, do I want to flirt with him or not? Probably not. Okay, we go now. Bye, Jerry. Thank Rotary Christ, please do. Scuttle away. Bye, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Bye. We're going to save this one on a separate file when we get the second. Or when we get a second. Diamond Town. Chapter 1. The Fun Fair Day. Look at how beautiful... Wait, that's not me. <laughs> Hang on. I'm all stitched together, so that's definitely not me. Alright. Alright, loves. And we might... I don't know, we'll see how far I want to go with this without, you know... Uh, let's go ahead and save real fast. File 2. Yes, please. Thankfully, it automatically set us, so yeah. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool. Ah. Tan sweet air. What was it? What was your voice again? Oh, I, you, you had like a twang. Ah, uh, twit. He had like kind of a vague British accent. Ah, uh, tent sweet tent. To find a well functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Uh, great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Brilliant. Hello, dog. Yeah, I know. I've already used it, my love. Thank you, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you, pup. What the fuck was that? Uh, alright, let's leave our tent. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's go automatically to Uptown Dial Town. And then we'll go to Downtown Dial Town. Ah, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be a downtown dial town. So, what now? Well, let's go to downtown dial town. Uh. 
Leave the area. Where would you like to go? Alright. I think... Actually, let's go to the bone shop. I'm curious. Hello. Why'd you wander in here, Log? A phone shop of all places. I doubt they do repairs for people with stitch together flesh heads, you know. Shut the fuck up, phone! If that's what you're looking for. No, I'm looking for love! I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Log. The, the phone. It's annoying the shit out of me. Someone... Someone answer the goddamn phone! Hi! Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. She's pretty. What's up? What are you hollering for, hun? Where am I? Is is this heaven? God, she's pretty. No, wait. This is too drab for a place like that. The river sticks, perhaps? Oh, I get you. It's cause all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hun. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you wanna understand? Yes. Uh, well, yeah, what is this place? We're standing in the Dialtown phone store. Shop's near 100 years old now, set up by my pa, God rest his soul. S uh, shop initially sold t whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays. Well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know? A hundred pieces uh, sell just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for most aspects of life, I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. Can I romance her? Because she's like really pretty. Now, if you want to romance, or if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. Uh, okay. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Uh, believe me, hun, I'm flattered. But, no, nah, I've got a store to manage, I'm afraid. What? Oh, come on, this place is deserted. Seems quiet enough now, sure, but like hell, I'm leaving my store for, se for the first sale of the afternoon. I'll buy something. Well, no, I actually don't. Apologize, Green, Green Un. But you'll have to find the partner elsewhere. Damn it! That's fine. I'll probably it, I'm probably more bulk than you can handle anyway. Bulk? You look like you're starving. Kind of want to feed you. Not gonna lie, fatten you up just a tad. You could do that, witch in the woods. <laughs> I know. It, it's like uh, aside from when I robbed the bag. <laughs> also, welcome, Pixel. A growing goblin needs their grub. I guess I could use a sandwich or ten. Can you adopt me? I'm housebroken. You don't smell housebroken. Nervous sweating. Answer's no, I'm afraid. Next question. Damn it. Um. I'm fine. Thanks. Bye. Alright, take care now. You hear? She was so pretty, though. I really wanted to romance her. Alright, let's leave the shop and go to downtown Dialtown. All right, leave the area. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's go to downtown Child Nile Town. See who's in here. Hi, friends. Uh, that was like really loud. It sounded like it was in the room with me. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. All right. Ah, uh, downtown Dial Town, where the air tastes like crystal meth and the crystal meth tastes like smog. So what now? Uh, let's see. Let's read the notes on the nearby phone poll. Uh, not yet. Uh... I'm just kind of poking around to see what happens, honestly. I've already kind of done a mostly complete route with Karen. Um... And I know there's, like, five... I know Oliver's pretty easy to go for, but I already know Oliver's route, so I don't want to do his quite yet. I'll save that for, like, another stream. Uh, but I'm just kind of, you know, meandering. 
All right. A nearby telephone pole directs. Di a nearby. Blah, 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 blah. A nearby phone pole teleports directly to you. That's a really hard sentence to say. Ka, what the fuck? You hope to notice something. Anything that'll somehow get you into that fun fair. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert out loud. <clears throat> Hiya, I'm Frongles the Cloud. What the fuck is this? Clouds don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real, clouds are not. Bigfoot is a feral, primordial ape man who lives in the woods and only ever sees through the hazy, disposable camera footage. Exactly, he might as well be my uncle. Clouds are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? Oop, I didn't read that, sorry. People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly, I'm not a people. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. Yeah, imagine. With a red, bulbous tuber attached to your face. That fucking honks. And they have gigantic shoes, and yet, and yet, they drive around in comedically tidy cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such an absurd antics are medial. They are truly wretched creatures. Aw, uh, I had no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so, should we skip over Frongle's advert, then? Correct, let's. Okay, well, there's two adverts left, then. A phone specs hotline, and a... A rent a chimpanzee service. It's your pick. Uh... After we call about the chip. Okay, let's see here. Rent a chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you want to keep take my chimpanzee out for tea? It's a, He's a little on the feral side now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but he's just as adorable as ever. Don't Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only $4, but God, if you can afford that. Okay, this is clearly that Frongles character again. Uh, hey, narrator, can I borrow four bucks? Your stomach is swollen with eggs, you troglodyte! You need to focus. Right, right, sorry. I'll write the chip later, then. Or not at all. Right, right. Are there any other adverts latched onto that pole? Yeah, there's exactly one. Phone Schmeck's hotline. Somehow, I don't think you're going to get anywhere with this one. What about? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again, the bouts. Uh, yeah, let's bounce. I, I'm not interested in that yet. To the streets away. What now? Let's see. Talk to a nearby passerby. <gasps> You're so pretty! Hello, hello, Dad. You need something, Dad, mate? That accent's terrible. You need something, Dad, mate? He's so pretty. Who are you? The name's Nathan Hanover, er, Hanover, governor. Bloody well chuffed to make your acquaintance, oh, man. oh yeah. I fucking adore him. Please, please tell me he's one of the romance options. I, my heart will break, he's so pretty. Sorry for me, Ace, mate, but I'm running quite late for a very important date. Oh, he's already got someone, damn it. Uh, what's got you in a hurry, then? Well, I've got to go to a charity gig I'm holding to raise money for alcoholic dogs, you know? Right piss, them mongrels are. Got to get there to conduct the synthronic orchestra. Or orchestra, sorry. Sometimes I just can't speak. But I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. And if you're quick, I'll be right chuffed. Uh, let's see. I like that I can just call him dad. What's a synthotic mean? Oi, don't be daft. Surely you know. Nah, not a clue. Alright, so, imagine a ghost, yeah? But like, it's stuck in a bloody contraption, isn't it? And it's all in from the inside of the machine, yeah? But, the screens are like, music and dad, isn't it? 
I understand even less about synthotics now, thank you. Don't mention it, Gumda. Just leave the magic to me, Dad. Uh, can you please take me to the fun fair, Dad? Cool, blimey, that sounds like right bonds. But unfortunately, I can't. Gotta go to be concert, and I'll be right knocking after. I. What are you saying? Oh god, am I being mugged? Nah, mate. You're right. No beef. Oi. So, we done, done with our little data data what? Fine. You're so pretty, though. Damn it. Roy, get this Denzo. Get home and watch some footy. And Jesus Christ, I'm losing my mind. I have some barbo and chips. Nice meeting ya. Ta-ta. Talk to a different nearby passerby. Hi, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm sorry. Roger, I love you to death, man. But you got to work on those nerves. Just one hello would suffice, right? Yes, yes. I, I know, Pete. I know, Peter. It's just the, the green one is looking right at us. I think that they want something. Well, turn around and ask the nice goblin what they want. R right, of course. Hey, no, nice to meet you, friend. Name's Roger. Hey, Roger. How about you bring me to the fun fair, eh? Oh, jeez. I'm flattered, really. But our lunch break just ended, so we gotta get back to work. Eh, two, redhead. Alright. Fast. Personally, my name's Peter. It's nice to meet you, Peter. Yes, hello, hello. Secondly, no offense, but I'm married. Damn it! But, but Peter, didn't you just tell me that Carolyn went to the spice section of a little bit of Ixnay on the edge of Bay, Roger. Whoops, my bad, sorry. That's on me. Ah, shit, Italian. My book never says I don't speak that. <laughs> Once again, I'm cock-blocked by Benito Mussolini himself. Once again? Yeah, the first time I was trying to say Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, it fucked up his name. Please don't ask them any branching questions, Roger. S sorry. But, 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 Anyway. We're happy to answer any questions provided you ask them quick. Our lunch break will be over any minute now, and the moment it ends, we're officially back on the clock. Gotta get back to work, you know? Uh... Nice hat! Hey! Th thanks! If I... I find it makes my head complete. Why doesn't your friend have a hat? You can't just ask people why they don't have hats! I don't do hats, I'm afraid. I can see this... This divide between you. This festering gap growing in your friendship. This difference of ideologies, this will only lead to war. Hey, I'm cool with the fact that he doesn't have a hat. Oh, sweet summer children. Only darkness now. That scared me. Peter, help. Uh, Who are you two anyway? What do you contribute to the world? Th that's an existential question. Yes, I specialize in those, dear heart. What is a man's worth? His merits, his morals, his le legacy. I think they want us to tell them about the daily grind, Roger. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. We work over at the Dial Town Mechanics Plant, the old one off of Main Street. The one that used to be Crown Mechanics, of course, over 50 years ago before the rebranding. Anyway, me and Peter work there together. He does assembly. And I'm his manager! Wait, you're his manager? Well, yeah. You see, one afternoon, our old manager ran onto the assembly floor, p -p papers shuffling frantically in hand. He said our plant was going to go through some new changes, and one of us was going to be promoted to his old position. Was he promoted? 
to a corpse, yes. Oh, shit. That's a bit of business, that. Turns out the guy had ties with the Tile Town Ball, and the cops finally caught up with him. Ended up jumping out of a four-story window onto one of the trampolines we just manufactured. What a lousy way to learn that the trampoline machine wasn't printing any of the actual trampoline parts, bar the frames and springs. I was so worried once he died, the cops didn't just start shooting at me. I figured, phone lord, if he can pass his old job on to me, maybe he can pass his crime on to me, you know? Regardless, I persisted and made it through with a brave face, though. You hid and cried under the desk for the whole ordeal, actually. Don't call him out like that, Peter. Y yeah, but they didn't know that. Say, why do you pick you to cho pick you to be the manager and not your friend? Your friend seems far less incompetent at being a wow log. Don't be rude. Oh, the old manager said it was for my d d diligence and expertise. Why do you look like you have blood on you? Roger's assembly line was the closest to the door, and thus the closest to the manager right as he entered. Okay, this is all making a lot more sense now. Speaking of, we have to get back to the plant. But wait, I thought you said Roger was the manager. Who's powerful enough to reprimand Roger for being late? Oh, n n nobody. I just have to get back and make sure nobody else is running late. Okay, I need an excuse because this conversation is making me uncomfortable. Speaking of... Alright, uh... Let me save, because I'm just feeling a little trigger happy right now. All right, let's see. Peter, you couldn't possibly be cool with being Rog Roger's lackey. I'm Roger's employee, not his lackey. Uh, maybe. If if that's a FNAF thing, I, I have literally no clue about FNAF. I, I'm totally inept at it. All right. Oh, hang on. There we go. Besides, it's not even that. I actually take a lot of pride in my work. I'm honestly just grateful that I managed to get a manufacturing job here and don't ever have to return to working at the pizza joint and call it- Oh, he is absolutely a reference, isn't he? Oh, I had no idea. Cool, cool, I'll have to check that out. I'd much rather assemble nuts and bolts than pizza, thank you very much. Plus, there's worse managers out there than Roger. Yeah, Roger seems chill. Rotary Christ, you should meet my brother. Should I? Oh, phone lord, no, you wouldn't want to catch. Whatever he has that makes his skin look like it does. Is it me? Am I your brother? Wait, what's up with... You think having green skin is freaky? Try Clementine Orange. He's Clementine Orange for his phone, it would match! I'm standing right here, you know. Well, uh, how many nipples does he have? You can't just ask a man how many nipples you have. Okay, I stand corrected. Maybe he's not all that. Stop talking about my nipples! <laughs> oh, right, I'm sorry. We... Just go. I've got errands to run anyway. Eggs delay, you know? Uh, and hey, if you ever need a job... I will never work, never toil, and never slave away for my daily bread. I will die as I live, unemployed and wearing stolen bowling alley shorts. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. Later, bitches. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Alright. Let's see. Uh... Okay, we have more here. Uh, let's go to the outskirts of the town. See, see what's out there. I I know that there's like a Bigfoot character who has like a camera for a head who I think is romanceable. Alas, alas, the outskirts of Dial Town, which city meets bumfuck nowhere. Uh, some people like getting away from it all, you know? It all being what? Civilization, a lack of blood-sucking kicks everywhere? What are you talking about? Dial Town's, craw Dial Town's crawling with lawyers. 
Lawyers and ticks have similarities, sure, but there's one clear difference. What, the extra legs? No, the tick falls off when you die. Ha, classic. So, what now? Uh, just water in the wood, sure. Hey, narrator, I got one of those things again. A brain tuba? No, the other thing. Anal hemorrhage? No, the other other thing. Oh, oh no, oh god, oh no! You don't have an idea, do you? See. What, pray tell, is this idea? I'm thinking I just ditch my clothes and gallivant off into the woods. Yeah, no, that didn't go so well last time. I got out of the bear trap in the end. Your bear trap. You set it up, as you may recall, in case, and I quote, a motherfucking grizzly do be approaching. Y you dare use a moment of helplessness against me? You're always helpless. You're like a spineless sea urchin that just gurgles for pity scraps from its neighbors. Is that... Do, do you think the feces and squids would share their foods with little old me? Little old me? You're a little pox on civilization itself. So in that case, the best thing for me to do is to leave it behind, right? Do you just... Or just adapt your behavior to be less... Pass. Uh... I'm gonna just wander off into the woods now for the hell of it. See if we can find a cryptid or something. Please don't jump scare me. Ooh, it's pretty out here. Day 14. I've been wandering in the woods for what seems like an eternity. I haven't seen my darling in what seems like years. I've grown quite weary. My feet are sore. I've had enough of these goddamn trees. Dad, come pick me up. You've been wandering for three minutes, Log. Wait, only three minutes? Yeah, give or take. Man, nature sucks. Leaves don't do shit. Well, neither do you. Touche. Wait, hang on just a moment. Wah! Oh, I, I, I thought it was someone else. <laughs> I got jump scared by myself. I feel different suddenly. I, I'm losing my manners. My urban instincts. I feel like I'm becoming... Feral. You're already pretty feral. Oh, God! I can no longer remember the spell of Papa Stone. What are you talking about? I've gone rogue. Take me off. I'm off the chain now. There's nothing to stop me from shedding my clothes and going gaga. You actually shed those 90 seconds ago. Oh, God. What's stopping me from eating some dirt? Please don't. My hog instincts. I am a, I am a hog, so. <laughs> uh, are kicking in. Must dig. For truffles. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Go muck about in the dirt if you insist. You'll just eat four-ish pine cones and get tired and slash or hungry, and then walk back to the road, which is very much part of a civilization, might I add, to pursue the nearby ditches for roadkill. Wait a moment. Er, wait a moment. Do you see those? What? Dirt? No. Footprints. We are fighting Bigfoot! Yes! Uh, okay, yeah, so? Don't you realize what this means, dear narrator? Oh, no, not this eight-man hogwash again. Yes! Look, you've been pacing in circles for, like, the last minute or so. Those are probably yours. Psst, wrong answers, biznatch! If these prints were mine, the claw marks would be much thinner. Right, your elongated toenails. Me claws, yes! This be Bigfoot. All right, fine. Maybe these tracks aren't yours, but the last six times you found Bigfoot tracks, they either turned out to be bear tracks or human tracks, or in the last case, gorilla tracks made by an escaped gorilla from the uh, from the zoo. I came close that last time, dude. Following those gorilla tracks would just wind up leading you to the escaped gorilla, which is not pleased to see you. I disagree, though. The go gorilla seemed very eager. Yeah, to eat you. Poor thing was clearly starving, and he thought you were a bamboo scarecrow, being pale and greed. Uh, Alright, my- I- I have just this extreme paranoia, so... Say please. Alright. Cool. Poor thing was clearly starving, and he thought- blah 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 blah. In fairness, the gorilla didn't bite me that hard. You still have a massive scar on your collarbone, which is amazing, giving that gorilla's lack visible mouths. It worked out alright in the end, didn't it? Until Theoror Rustle, until Theoror Rustlebout 
Dialtown's resident zookeeper and weirdo showed up, tranquilized you both, and took you both back to the gorilla enclosure at the Dialtown Zoo. But I'm free now, aren't I? I- it was still an ordeal that I think we could have very much simply avoided by merely- I came so close that time! Uh... Bear? Bad? Gorilla! Each time is closer to the last dividing Bigfoot. One more time. One more go is all I need. Good God, Log! Haven't you ever heard of the expression, Curiosity killed the cat? I wish I could just retort with the second phrase, which is, and Satisfaction brought it back. Uh, agree to disagree. No, please, Log. I implore you to reconsider acting out whatever depraved idea might be swirling around in that green noggin of yours. Log, please. Well, okay. We have created a trap, dear, ch dear chat. Please, I beg of you, explain your plan to me again. It couldn't be simpler. What part of this is simple? Have you never watched cartoons as a mere kitten? Better than youngling. Have you never gazed upon the wild coyote as he sprang from the nefarious traps? On all in his vain pursuit to catch the fast ostrich? Roadrunner, but I... Aha. Uh -huh. And how did that work out for the scheming cannon in question? Silence, Shoutlobe! This is the most optimized trap in the world. Explain it to me. Bigfoot takes the cheddar. I pull on the string, the ruler, and the box both fall over. He's trapped under the box. I win. Okay, so, quick sidebar. Hello? Firstly, why is Lulua cheddar of all things? I think he prefers that. I think it's bold of you to assume that Bigfoot would eat cheese and not say the flesh of children. Bigfoot does not eat kids. I know, yeah, I I'm surprised that they had a TV once. Why are you so sure of that? I mean, he never gets too close to civilization. Bigfoot would starve in the woods if he needed to eat human childers. Oh, but I'm sure he'd find plenty of naturally occurring cheddar in the woods. I figured he'd just enjoy some as a treat. Everyone likes cheese! Why not something ta tempted with something a tad sweeter than cheddar in the flesh of lost children? Say, chocolate? Bad idea. Dogs can't eat chocolate, so who knows if Bigfoot can? Can gorillas eat chocolate? I mean, we can, so they probably can, right? Alright, alright. For the sake of the argument, we'll go with human rules, then. To be fair, there's also lactose intolerant people. Uh, I swear, if you even pitch feeding Bigfoot soy products, that's fine. You're allowed to not like cheese. More for me. <laughs> if Bigfoot has the same values as the residents of Dialtown, uh, I reckon he'd rip your head clean off if you tried to serve him coffee with soy in it. Bigfoot would never do that. Bigfoot and I are kindred spirits. God damn it, Log. Bigfoot is not ru- Hello? No, it couldn't. Could it be? Huh? He's cute! Oh, oh God, fucking damn it. My persistence, my diligence has finally been rewarded. Sasquatch, my love. Hi. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, it's okay. Come on, big guy. I I have a banana. It's blue. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Where'd you get that? Don't ask questions you don't want to know. Shh. Come here, baby. Come here. I hate this. I hate all of this. Shut fuck, narrator. Bigfoot is... <gasps> no, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Narrator. I wasn't yelling at you, darling. I would never do that. Huh. How dare you anger me in Bigfoot's presence? For years. Years! Oh, relax. He'll be back. He saw the Nana. He did see the Nana, yes. Still, Bigfoot is easily to st easy to startle. We know that now. But of course he is. 
Did you honestly, did, did you honestly think that Bigfoot had escaped nearly all detection by mere coincidence? Well, my gut told me he was hard to find because he ain't real, but now I'm questioning a lot of things I thought I knew. Bigfoot is 40% motion blur, 30% hair, 20% mystery, and 20% good gravy. I don't think that adds up to 100. That adds up to 110%, you know. There's at least an extra 10% of mystery, damn it. This is Bigfoot math. I ain't gotta explain shit. Once I, by the way, once I get to the the end of this chapter, I'll probably call the stream because my voice is starting to give out. There he is. Hi. E easy does it. You want the banana boy? You want it? <gasps> Just give him the banana, man. We don't know how easily he angers. Thank you so much for the follow bait. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Pixel. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. One nanner exchange coming up. There you go, mate. Yeah. He seems to like he seems to like bananas. Alright. Are you surprised? You know what? Perhaps not. I guess the big is that he'd like bananas. He's an ape man. Ape man's like nanas. Men like nanas. I guess we're just hedging our bets. Oh Bigfoot, my love. Will you take me to the fun fair? The bananas seem to have calmed him down, all right. He's nice and docile now. Oh, he's nice and docile now. I keep forgetting that this is... I know. D don't question object head mechanics. Uh, I actually have, like, certain theories for certain types of object heads, but cameras are not one of them. Uh, so, for example, I have an object head that has a button, like a shirt button for a head. And basically, the way they eat is they just put things through the hole in their head and it essentially vaporizes them. Uh, but yeah. I think we're ready for first contact. Bigfoot, will you take me to the fun fair? <gasps> but I don't have any theories about cameras yet. Ooh. Hello, Bigfoot. My beloved. I've done it. I've tamed Sasquatch! I mean, have you really? He's a feral ape man from God knows where. He probably has fleas, you know. Should I de-louse Bigfoot? I think you should remember your primary objective. I believe my primary objective was to find Bigfoot, actually. You are still heavily pregnant. Don't forget that. You gotta lay those eggs. Ugh. Oh, me guts. You know I'm right. Ugh, I hate this. I hate you. I hate you. I'm sorry to pry you from fucking Sasquatch. But you still have to overcome your greatest hurdle yet. Ticket Jabri. Ugh, damn him! Damn him to oblivion! Alright, log. Time to say goodbye to Bigfoot. No! I can't believe I just said that sentence out loud. What the fuck? Sasquatch, my one true love. <gasps> I guess this is goodbye. Ooh. I'm sorry. I must go now. Ooh. No! Ooh. Uh, what's wrong, boy? Are you trying to tell me something? Ooh. I don't know what that is. What's this? Is this for me? What the fuck is it? Oh no! He has a family! Is this your family, Bigfoot? Ooh. Oh no. The gummit. They took your family, didn't they, boy? Ooh. Nope. Nuh-uh. I'm not feeling bad for the motherfucking Sasquatch. You will, and it's gonna happen! Have a heart, narrator! Please take a firm step back and realize that you're asking me to pity a semi-mythical ape man. Have some empathy, bitch! I can't just abandon Bigfoot. Not like this. I can't just leave him on his own again. Come back to my tent. I doubt you'll fit in it. Log, what about your eggs? What about Ticket Jerry? Wait. Hold on a minute. Maybe I can use Bigfoot. Oh, oh, no. I beseech you, Log. Please, discard that notion. I beg of... It's ape time, narrator. Yeah, boy! Hell yeah. No, don't excite Bigfoot. You stop that. The wheels are already in motion, baby. Ape train, full speed ahead. This... 
This isn't an option. How on earth could you use Bigfoot to bypass the ever stoic ticket Jerry? Uh. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay, hang on, let's save. Alright. And like I said, once we hit the chapter end, we'll uh, call stream there. Alright, use Bigfoot for good. Domesticate him. Alright, I made my mind up. Uh huh. I'm going to domesticate Bigfoot. Come again? Hey, I'm thinking the long term here. I domesticate Bigfoot. He gets a 9 to 5 job. I almost called it a 6 to 5. Uh, I take rent in exchange for letting him live in my tent. I'd uh, use that money to get into the bear. That takes a long time, Log. Yes, Bigfoot. Red. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. Firstly, seriously, why not cut out the middle, man, eh? And just go get a 9-to-5 job yourself! Me? Working? Don't be absurd! Absurd like trying to domesticate a Sasquatch? Hey, I know which of those is likelier than the other! The Sasquatch idea is indeed our best shot. Okay, assuming we perish the thought of you working a day job in your goddamn life. What kind of office would hire Bigfoot? I don't know. Let's, let's go take him to the machinists with, uh, Peter and, uh, what's his face? I don't think HR would take kindly to having Sasquatch on their premises. Oh, it'll be fine. We'll just say he has a disease. Then they'll have to hire him. Or we too. You really are inhuman, aren't you? Absolutely. I had to lay my eggs. What choice do I have? Get a job. That's not an option. Try putting on a necktie, you lazy sack of shit. Okay, okay. Let's calm down here. We're both saying crazy things. Like trying to get Bigfoot an office job. Oh no, everything I said was fine. You're the one spewing insane hogwash. But you said... Hush. Bigfoot, could you say hogwash? <laughs> you leave him out of this. God, why am I even getting myself so worked up? It's not like you're actually going to attempt to domesticate Bigfoot, you think? You really think I ain't gonna try to do this? Babe, you underestimate my determination. Phase one, oh god, you're really trying to domesticate Bigfoot, aren't you? Alright, Bigfoot. Ooh. Yeah. So I was gonna give you tips on t how to help you f write your first re resume, but, uh... I realize you're about as likely to punch through computer screens as you are to actually use it. Ooh. Yeah, technology can be scary, my dearest hairy baby. Don't nickname Sasquatch. You'll get attached. I would already die for Sasquatch. Please don't commit to dying for benefit for Bigfoot's behalf. Tough luck, man. I'm on the ape road, cruising down Mon Monkey Highway. Ooh. Yeah, you understand you underestimate me, narrator. See? He gets it. Alright, Bigfoot. I believe that the solution to your potential technophobia is more than clear. Baby steps. We start small. Ooh. Oh, you're running to go to baby is. Doesn't he have a kid? Uh, see, babies are... Hmm. Narrator, should I explain the birds and the bees to Bigfoot? Do not explain sex to Bigfoot. That's a can of worms you simply can't reclose when it becomes a massive inconvenience. Which, you know, it would. Just describe what a baby is and be done with it. Okay, you know what a human is? Hairless man, make fire. Okay, good. Oh, he was the kid in the photo? Oh, okay. Because I figured, because the, the big one had the uh, piece of tape on it. Uh, so I figured it was the same guy. Babies are like... Imagine a human, but the size of one of the freaky hairless cats. And looks pretty much exactly like one, too. And screams when it wants stuff. Again, like a hairless cat. And grows not, but the occasional patch of fuzz. Like a hairless... Yeah, okay, just picture a hairless cat. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think he understands. You are going to fry Bigfoot's brain like an omelet. Shut up! I know what I'm doing. Now, Bigfoot. I'll start with the simplest of objects that I intend to introduce you to. The Noble Toaster. Yes, uh, did I just have that on me? Yes, Ape Child of the Earth. Toaster. You see, Albert Einstein invented electricity back in the... in... 
1066? I don't know how to pronounce that. Unfortunately, he hadn't invented the light bulb yet, so you know. I uh, didn't mean jack shit. Humanity struggled in vain until one human figured it out. An American visionary named Charles Toaster. He was the first man who dared ask, who dared to ask, hey, what if I wanted to cook this bread twice? At the same time. Simply put, he was a genie man. Are you trying to say that he was magic or that he was a genius? Yes. I like that that is clearly a British outlet. Or I think it's a British outlet. Anyway. Thanks to Mr. Toaster, we had to use Sir Einstein's useless electricity. And it was good. Alright. What shall I do introduce you to do next, Bigfoot? Do you know what a barbecue grill is? Oh, come on, Bigfoot. You're telling me you've never grilled a dog before? He's like, look at me. My god, you truly haven't lived. I may have my work cut out for me. Let's have a cookout with Bigfoot. Oh, come on. Must you individually introduce all grilling appliances to build Bigfoot? He needs to learn, damn it. You know, you know, you'd get through these a lot faster if you just combined some of the introductions. Capital idea, yes. What could I combine the technology module with? Ah, I know. Introduction to pets. Where are you going with it? Is that a pet mouse? Bigfoot. I, I have no idea what they mean by that. This is a mouse. People use this to move a cursor around a computer screen. Like this. <laughs> I don't know if I, I have a... Yeah, I do. Okay. What's a computer? It's uh, uh, a magical box that shows you uh, pornography and... Uh, Let's you buy used knickknacks from a divorced middle-aged man in North Dakota. Computers do a lot more than that, you know. They do not! Oh, right. Bigfoot. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, boy. These are, you know, also mice. Ah! It's a living one. Like, they squeak and call around and eat cheese and stuff. You see, once upon a time, there was a man named Callum Crow. And he decided that everyone should be, have to be miserable and have a phone for a head. Oh. You're losing him. Mice are cute and they grow to love you if you pet slash feed them. Oh. Hold this mouse or else. Oh. Alright, he's taking the mouse pretty well, I think. Yeah, it looks like Bigfoot has finally made a friend. <gasps> <gasps> no! Okay, never mind. He's eating it now. The way I see it, it was a 50-50 shot that he'd eat the mouse or stick it in the toaster. Uh huh. Huh. Guess he's hungrier than he is curious. Can we feed him, please, before he eats us? Man. It's a good thing I thought to try this with a rodent before, like, a kitten or a puppy. That was so mean. Phase two, patching things up with Mr. Lawman. Or Lawman. All right, Bigfoot. So you've just eaten the small animal. Ooh. No, not content, ape boys. That wasn't one of the okay meatables. You see, Bigfoot, in civilized society, how are we qualified to speak on this? We only eat animals that are well. Wait, what is the rule? Be very, very careful with telling Bigfoot what's okay and not okay to eat. I, wait. Oh, I figured it out. Listen here, my fuzzy boy. If it has hooves, you can eat it, I guess. Boo-boos, sheepsies, hogs, horse jerky, deer. If you're weird. Deer is delicious. Shut up. Okay, that's the rule. But don't eat the hooves themselves unless, I mean, you really wanna. Okay. Okay, two flaws with that rule. There are hooved animals that aren't considered okay to eat. Like what? Donkeys, goats, boars. Yeah, please don't eat me. Giraffes, zebras. I will devour a zebra if given the opportunity. Mood. You are the worst possible person to integrate Bigfoot into civilized society. Right, so what was that second thing? There's non-hooved animals you can eat too. Chickens, turkeys, pheasants, etc. Pheasants? Aren't I one of those? Pheasants. Okay, okay. So, so it's hooved animals and birds then? That sounds good on paper, but I know for a fact if 
uh, Bigfoot is caught devouring a pigeon or a swan in public, he will go to gorilla jail. He, you can't eat pigeons? Not unless you want to be put on a truly special kind of list. You call them squab, for one. Um, and fun fact, pigeons were originally domesticated as pets, and we just released them, so they're now feral, and that's why they're so dependent on humans, and it's very sad. Uh, ah, dash it all, we'll return to meet at a later date. Bigfoot, let's discuss citizenship. Alright, Bigfoot, I'm gonna be real with man. Living in the woods, undocumented by a man. As fun as it is, I, uh, I'd imagine so. Or is it fun? I'd imagine so. A great foraging opportunity? Absolutely. You're losing him, but you know what else it is? It's a citizenship crime. <gasps> yes, Bigfoot. You don't have a birth cert, a passport, nary a paper to your name. If the feds find you here, they could deport you to Canada. Or worse, Mexico. As funny as it is to imagine you in a parka or a sombrero, no, you would likely struggle to conceal yourself behind a cactus or a moose. Oh, you want to know what Mexico is, don't you? Mexico is like... Wait, you've been spotted in all 50 states, right? Alright, picture New Mexico, okay? Exactly, exactly. Uh... But once you tire of the sand and yearn to get back to the woods that you beloved so, you'll have to swim across a river and then leap over barbed wire. And you may or may not get shot in the process. No, it's not a good time. Best just start a sombrero and open a, a gas station near the border. No, no, you're right, my simple ape friend. Mixing you and gasoline pumps together would be kind of a recipe for disaster. A recipe for pure, unbridled malarkey. We need to get you some legally integrated and shit. Papers! Here, I have some forms. Where was I keeping those? Where did you get those? I may or may not have stolen them from a business. I'm assuming that's what he said. Um, uh, you need to fill these out so you can legally be accepted by this fair land. I think I said that line wrong, but you know what? It's fine. But know this. I accept you as you are, Bigfoot. Undocumented or not? No, no. The U.S. government would definitely not accept you. Not without these papers filled out, anyway. Oh, cheer up, my good squat or Sasquatch. Yeah, right? Like, they have to. If we fill these out right now, our government should get back to us in, say, approximately three to 800 business days. Hey, I said approximately. Don't shoot the messenger. I assume they just have, like, a subspace thing. Notes of Sulk and Bigfoot a firearm to integrate him better into American society. Do not do this. All right, Bigfoot, listen up. Ooh. Something tells me that if you signed your name as Sasquatch on one of these forms, well, the government would likely chuck it straight into the incinerate instantly pile. So you need an assumed name. Ooh. So I suggest using the name Bill G. Foot or Michael S. Squatch. Or, yeah, Squatch. Ooh. All right, I'm going to hand you the forms now. Straight in his mouth. Straight in his mouth. All right, let me just sign a pad. Yep. He's eating the... I can see that! Bigfoot! You cretinous ape! Look what you've done now! Don't be mean! Bad monkey! Bad! Don't be mean! Well. Damn. Look at that. You scared him off. I can see that! I didn't yell at him that harshly, did I? You called him a cretinous ape. But he ate my immigration forms. I'd say that you're about even now. You think Bigfoot will forgive me? Yes. No, uh, maybe? Leave it be for now. I'm sure he'll tie himself out and run out of the ape adrenaline if we give it some time. And soon, the ape and dolphins will seep back into his brain. Uh... I don't know, man. Just give him some time to stew. You could have just said that. You could have looked for a job this morning. Ha! Good one. We really do have fun together. No comments. Alright, so Bigfoot tried to devour his America papers, so mail-in passport application is clearly off the table. Right, chat. No American in a can. American in a can for us, I guess. 
All right, so what now? Basically, okay, let's just do this the legal but not way. There we have it. Town Hall. Hmm. It's a cat. Quite a curious design. Must have been built in the 80s. It's a giant cat head. I don't see what any part of this insane design has to do with 1980s pop culture. Consider the Kitar. Also, it's literally the decade that spawned gamers. Yeah. Must have been built in the 80s. All right. It's mayor time! Not without a game plan, it isn't. Booey! Uh, you're going to need to figure out how you're going to get into the mayor, mayor Mingus's office. Well, I was gonna enter through the front door, first of all. I think you misunderstand. This is the mayor of Dial Town's place of work. Uh huh. The mayor! Politic politics, speeches, taxes, lady. Yes, I'm familiar with the concept. Okay, so the fact that you know she collects taxes and gives speeches would prove definitively that you can't just walk in there and leave unharmed. Uh, okay, point taken. Maybe I should generally watch out. Right then, so what's the game plan? Okay, so how about this game plan? I'll just wander in and drift around like a plastic bag floating in the ocean. I'm sure I'll drift into the mayor's office eventually. Probably knocking over several bad sized stacks of paper in the process. Say, have you ever met the mayor? Not exactly, but she has a, written me a few strongly worded fan mail letters. Sorry to correct you, but eviction notices. We call those eviction notices. Give me a second to hydrate. Depending on how close... I'm gonna talk to the mayor and I'll call it there, because again, my voice is kind of starting to give out. Ah, yes. That explains why she kept telling me to leave my tent forever. Yeah, fan mail tends not to contain grotesque insults slash slurs lobbed at the recipient of the letter as a general rule of thumb. At least we came to an agreement eventually, though. No, you didn't. The cops sent a SWAT dog in to drag you out of the tent, and the weird odors inside of your home spooked the dog so badly that it wept like a man. Yes, but I think she respects me as an adversary now for my ingenious tactics. She sent you 16 more eviction notices since then. All merely a part of the game, dear narrator. The last one she specifically wrote, Do you think this is a game? It's not. It's not a game. Get out. She underlined the get out part so many times she tore through the page. All part of the game. All right, so if you've never met her and, well, I presume you have no idea what she looks like, since you can't mentally fixate on anything not made of horse jerky for any length of time. Correct, she could be a sentient house cat for all I know. So, how will you know which office is hers? I'm sure hers will have the most armed guards wandering around outside. Or, if there's a pet monkey in a cage. Well, it's gotta be hers, right? Like, who else in there is gonna own a baboon? Just enter the- Alright, alright. So yeah, we'll talk to the mayor and then call it. <gasps> You're pretty. Hey, 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 friend! Welcome to Town Hall's reception desk. My name is Terrence, but you can call me Tango for short. Hi, Tango. Wow, you're the first person to actually use the nickname. Uh-huh. I feel as though you and I are going to be best friends forever. Does that mean you'll take me to the fun fair? I will selfishly use you to acquire free paper clips and printer toner. Whatever you say, friend. You seem awfully chipper. And why wouldn't I be? Isn't it such a beautiful day today? Uh, are we living in the same dial town? I know, he's so cute. Well, as far as I know, there is only one dial town, Fred. Only one? Well, there was that other dial town over in Georgia. But... Mayor Mingus sent a friendly SWAT team over there to politely ask them to change their town's name. And like an hour later, they voluntarily changed their town's name. Voluntarily. Wasn't that nice of them? Uh... So, Ferendo, what brings you to town hall today? I'm here to speak to the mayor, of course. Oh, so you want me to make you an appointment? Well, that's just dandy. Can I ask for your name, friend? 
Uh, you misunderstand. I don't wish to make an appointment. I must see the mayor immediately. I'm completely unequipped to experience anything other than instant gratification. So kindly escort me to your leader, and I shan't en enact any needless violence. Let's not threaten the pretty phone guy. Well, you see, while I would love to help you, we're gonna save just to be safe, loves. Alright. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would love to help you. Unfortunately, the mayor is having a late afternoon nap right about now. Is she a cat? You do not want to wake her, trust me. Man, if you think she's writing on posters... I've decided to wake her up. Direct me to the mayor. I have no fear. I just told you you can't do that. Uh, we a little out of hearing. Do you need government-provided hearing aids? Is, is that one of those little robots that lives in your ears? I know, man, that makes me so upset. He's so cute. It makes you hear distant conversations like a superhero? <gasps> no, 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 that's a hearing A. A-I-D. Hearing A-I-D-E is just a little person who stands next to you and screams whatever I've just said directly into your eardrums. Like a translator. But instead of speaking ho ho maquette or vodka, they translate normal conversation into ear-shattering volumes. That sounds like a riot, but alas, no, that won't be necessary. Alas, I merely re require unyielding and unrelenting or relentless co cooperation from you. Well, as I said, I can't direct you to the mayor herself, but I can take a message if you like. Alright, let's see. Uh, trust me, you don't want to hear what I'd have to say to your boss. I'm sorry, pal. I wish I could help you. I really do. But, uh, I can't. Even if we are best friends. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed that. I would devour you whole if this building didn't have CCTV coverage constantly. I'm sorry, friend, but them's the breaks. And to think I called you Tango. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later if this is all you came here for. I am available to go kayaking after work if you're into that. And I can't date him. He wants to take me kayaking. What? Dude, he's so cute. This is not fair. Dog. Dog in charge of this game. Please, let me date him. He's precious. I love him. He could totally have this route where you make him realize that, you know, his 9 to 5 grind is just so miserable. Well, I think that's actually what you do with Karen, but whatever. Um... All right, let's see. Come on, Tango. Can't I appeal to your conscience, your mind, your heart? Do you have a compelling reason for me to risk sacrificing my job for you? Are you about to compel me? All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna save. Just in case, you know, some of these options are a little easier than others. Oh, man, I would totally, like, be down for a mod of this game. Alright. Come on, we're best friends. You just said so yourself. What has this stinky bear done for you lately? Well, she pays my salary, for one. Also, this place has crazy employee benefits. On St. Pat Patrick's Day, I get a green cookie. Is it fresh? It is always stale. To be fair, the mayor only provided it to shut the union up. A stale green cookie. Is this the dial town you want to support? Do you really want to contribute to the systemic violence? Well, shucks, when you put it like that, I feel kind of bad about myself. And you should. You're an asset of the machine. You're a monster, Tango. Oh, my phone god, what have I done? How could I ever make it up to the world? Existential crises are my specialty, babes. Let me see the bear. Your sacrifice will make the world brand new again. I mean, is it really that much of a sacrifice if I only risk rep being reprimanded by my... The world is yearning. No screaming for revolution, Tango. Will you answer its call? All right. But the revolution, I guess. I will now break all of the employee rules of conduct that let you see the mayor unauthorized. 
She's down the corridor, fourth door on the left. There's a nameplate on the door that reads, May I make this office? Do not enter. I mean it. Don't do it. I swear to God, don't you dare. Can't miss it. Does this place have security? Uh, not on weekdays. Nobody would, uh, ever be stupid enough to enter this building with nefarious intent to mind while the mayor is working in her office. Most of downtown's hearted criminals are far too afraid of her to attempt something as foolish as that. Or, you know, they're on a bay roll. Huh. Is her door locked or do you have to buzz me in? I think I'm actually gonna stop it before we get to the mayor because, like I said, my voice is kind of giving out. Nope! If the door was locked, I'd have to unlock the door with one hand when delivering the mayor her evening milk. Oh, God forbid if I would even let a drop of milk spill on her pristine white carpet while unlocking the door. Oh, I just read his voice totally wrong. So her door's labeled. This place has no security. And the door isn't even locked. I really love him. I, I desperately wish I could date him. Uh, I could have just walked right in. But then I wouldn't have gotten to talk to Tango. But don't you feel better for doing it the moral way? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Take care. Uh, Tango. Yeah, you call me Tango again. Woohoo! You're the first person to actually do that. I can't wait to tell my grandkids about... How old are you? I'm gonna scamper off now. That's fine. I could... I Older men are fine. Go back whenever you like. I shan't return to this return to this desk desk henceforth and forever. All right. As soon as this loads up, I'm gonna save. We might actually have just hit the new chapter. Okay. So let's go ahead and save, and we're gonna end the game. All right. Let's find someone to raid, my loves. I know. I I would absolutely die to date Tango. Okay. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Stofy's live. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna send you over to... Yeah, I think I'm sending you over to Stofy. So they're playing Hardcore Minecraft right now, and I will see you guys on Monday, same time as normal, and we'll continue this game then. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.